And Stoke Cold Steve Austin wasting no time going for the ribs of Jake the Snake Roberts. This is the final, ladies and gentlemen. The winner of this match will be the 1996 King of the Ring. And Austin fighting with 16 stitches in his mouth, JR. And Jake the Snake has got to have busted or broken ribs. Both these men are battered and bruised, but Jake Roberts is obviously in tremendous pain. The Snake's in a severe disadvantage, and Austin's doing what he should do. Go right after those injured ribs of Jake Roberts. Well, it could be a changing of the guard here tonight. The old man and the rattlesnake, huh, partner? A strike out of nowhere. You can imagine every one of those blows, JR. It's like thunder and lightning right into his belly every time he moves. Well, Jake Roberts had a choice. He didn't have to come out here. Yeah, but this is king of the ring. And you know, that's it. He's done. He's in full-on attack mode now. Stay down. Stay down. The king of the ring finals continues here. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Ah, stunner. Stunner. With a stunner on Jake the Snake Roberts. And the referee counts as three, and Austin has beaten Jake the Snake Roberts. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout, and now reigning king of the ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And there you see Stone Cold Steve Austin, the new king of the ring for 1996. Man, this was some battle, JR. Austin went through some tough guys to uh, finally get to the top of the mountain. There you see him. What is next for Stone Cold Steve Austin? Is I'm this? I'm just wondering how the rattlesnake's gonna look with a crown on his head. Yeah, I feel like wear it. I wonder if this is the beginning of bigger things for Stone Cold Steve Austin. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the fourth prestigious King of the Ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin, an incredible victory. The first thing I want to be done is to get that piece of crap out of my ring. Don't just get him out of the ring, get him out of the WWE. Because I prove, son, without a shadow of a doubt, you ain't got what it takes anymore. You sit there and you thump your Bible and you say your prayers and it didn't get you anywhere. Talk about your Psalms, talk about John 316. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. Come on, that's not necessary. All he's gotta do is go buy him a cheap bottle of and try to dig back some of that courage he had in his prime. As the king of the ring, I'm serving notice to every one of the WWE superstars. I don't give a damn what they are. They're all on the list, and that's Stone Cold's list, and I'm fixing to start running through all of them. As, yes, I, as far as this championship match is considered, son, I don't give a damn if it's Davey Boy Smith or Shawn Michaels. Steve Austin's time has come. And when I get the shot, you're looking at the next WWE champion. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. Obviously, anything but humble, the fourth prestigious king of the ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin.
Stunning Steve, not only the former television champion and world tag team champion. What about Steve Bowe? His first title was the television title. And he beat Ric Flair to become the television champion years ago. He's been the world heavyweight champion, eight times the world tag team champion, and U.S. champion on many occasions. Obvious, these men are two of the most decorated men in our sport today. Should be a great one. Boy, you know the difference in a half a second? You know the difference in all the money, all the fame, and all the fortune? Your career can change overnight in half a second. And that's just one of the things that makes this sport so great. No, JR, I'm one of the things that makes this sport so great. Well, you're another one of the things that make this sport so great. How's that? If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. This is a painful submission hold and used to great effect here. A big clubbing blow. Steve Austin can feel the momentum swinging his way. Here's the... Steve Austin frustrated. Ricky Steamboat continues to kick out and show resilience. And Austin out. Trying another approach, King. We all know about Steamboat. He's got a great heart. These two superstars know each other extremely well. Look at this guy. Austin's got to go to plan B. And Steamboat bridges up both men in that good condition. Uh-oh. And uh, not a good landing for Austin. It's the veteran Steamboat out of Charlotte, North Carolina, creating a little distance. Oh, boy. Steve Austin should take advantage now. That kick slowed the momentum down that uh, Steamboat was about to build. Oh, what's going to go here, JR? Steamboat in a one up on the ropes. And Austin again dropping that 250 pounds right over Steamboat's body. And now he's mocking Steamboat. Austin taunting the veteran. I don't think Austin's going to get in Steamboat's head. Steamboat is... Too much of a veteran. He's been there before. And look at this, Jake. Whoa, 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 whoa! Look how counter! The stun gun! Steamboat used the stun gun. Austin's move on Austin. Boy, you know the difference in a... Oh, look at this. Austin's throwing Steamboat in the ropes. What's he going for here, JR? Austin, the United States champion, looking for a two-stone pile driver. That's reversed by Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. And now reversed again. Another reversal. Taking a lot out of both oh. hands. Trying to reverse these two stones. And it's Steamboat oh. locking his hands and dropping Austin on the United States champion's head. Steamboat should go for the cover. He's, he's a little addled. Steamboat looking for something else, another piece of offense. Yeah, you're right. I think Steamboat wants to hit something big and put Austin away for good. Oh, oh boy. Austin shoving the referee out of the way. I didn't know better. I would think Austin's trying to get himself disqualified. I think he's done it. The referee is saying this is over. Now, wait a minute. Steamboat's, Steamboat's having a conversation with the referee. Steamboat cannot win the United States title via disqualification. The match continues. And Steamboat now with piston-like right hands on the face of the United States champion. Well, look at this reversal here. Austin off the ropes, duck. Whoa, crossbody. Nice, nice crossbody roll through by Austin. Austin with a roll through, and Austin's feet. Feet, feet on the ropes. And ref, and ref, Austin's feet on the ropes. Steve Austin wins it. Well, this shouldn't be quite the contest, Jerry. Stone Cold Steve Austin, Breath of Hitman Hart, finally going to meet one-on-one. -on -one. This is a rivalry that has been brewing for several weeks now. Well, you're right about that, JR. A long time coming, and it's finally here. Stone Cold Steve Austin, the rattlesnake, going against the best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. This should be great. Breath of Hitman Hart, the consummate wrestler, scientific, fundamentally sound, Austin. Likes to brawl. Oh, likes yeah. To, likes to fight. Oh, look at this. Look at this stare down. Are either one of these guys going to be intimidated, JR? I don't think so. Austin trying to get into Hart's head. I don't think that's going to happen. From <gasps> the look at that. Oh, my goodness. 
Oh, you're number one in the heart of Stone Cold to Boston. Here they go. The black heart of the Texan. Father no bow tie up. And it's Brett the Hitman Hart. Well, had the advantage momentarily. Austin now reverses it. Referee asks for a clean break. Whoa. Uh-oh. I wouldn't want to be the referee in this match, would you, JR? Absolutely not. Uh oh I think Timbers are going to flare really quick. Well, the, the tension. You could feel the tension when these men came to the ring. You knew this was going to be special. What if Stone Cold Steve Austin used the sharpshooter to make Bret Hart submit? Bret Hart getting softened up here. Oh, I think this man means business. What a beast Steve Austin has been so far in this match. Calgary's own Bret Hart looks to be in great shape. He had a personal trainer to help himself get ready. Yeah, you're right. All of his old nagging injuries should be fully healed at this point. Whoa. That one went wide. Guy can go toe to toe with anybody. Austin's in trouble. Calgary's own Bret Hart looks to be in great shape. He had a personal trainer to help himself get ready. Yeah, you're right. All of his old nagging injuries should be fully healed at this point. Oh, what impact. Stone Cold Steve Austin thinks he's in charge here, JR. Yeah, but I think that Bret oh. Hart's got other ideas. Hart trying to get control of the match now. Oh, Bret Hart going for another Bulldog. But Austin off the counters. Oh. There's Hart sterling first into the turnbuckle. Oh, man, look at this, JR. Both men down. Feeling the effects of that for a while. Steve Austin with the offense. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, Two. and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. see a lot of high flying or a lot of risk taking in this matchup jr oh i don't know i think he might see it all well you could i think both these guys would prefer to keep it on the ground and mat wrestle Whoa. and punish and hurt and intimidate well stone cold is Dude. likely to ground it out if he thinks he can and the same with the hitman when he gets going like this there are a few better here we go this could be incredible move by steve austin Back into the ring now. This guy can go toe to toe with anybody. Oh, he's in trouble now. Oh, looking to make a statement. Oh, my. Steve Austin. The shoulders are down.
massive damage done there. When you're beat up, the last thing you want to have to deal with is this amount of power. And fools him with the reversal. Out what's going on here? Uh oh, what are we gonna see here? Oh, the carnage, the impact, just debilitating. We now have to question if he'll be able to come back after that. He's showing no signs of letting up. Not this incredible move by Steve Austin. Man, what a matchup, King. This has been physical all the way through. But I tell you, I think Stone Cold Steve Austin's got to be asking himself, what does he have to do to beat Bret Hart? Can he do it? Oh, look at this. Austin with that diversion of the million-dollar dream, but it's countered by Hart. Hart's ah! shoulders down, and Bret the Hitman Hart countered Austin and pins the rattlesnake. Hart has earned a shot now at the WWE Champion. Man, oh man, Stone Cold Steve Austin had that, had that finishing maneuver locked in, but he wouldn't let go when, when Hart was on the ropes. That's what really cost him the victory. The million dollar dream cost Austin maybe a million dollars. This rivalry is far from over. I guarantee you that, my guy. Well, I, I hate to bring this up, King, but Bret Hart took a little, uh, Little turn on you when he knocked you on your keister. Yeah, and I didn't appreciate it one bit. Let me tell you, I think Bret Hart was out of line for doing that, as well as being out of line for the abusive obscenities that he hurled on live television. There's absolutely no excuse for that, no matter how much this man, so-called, has been screwed. Well, well, you almost called him a son of a... No, 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 I didn't. Well, look out. Here we go. Steve Austin doing a great job of turning that around. I don't know what's going to happen here. He unloads a well-structured series of moves. I'm not sure I can watch this. And there's the reversal from Bret Hart. And he brings the action back inside the ring. And there's the reversal from Bret Hart. Oh, oh, what a shot! Oh, lights out! Man, there's no getting up from that. his opponent to the limit here. Oh my, Steve Austin. Stay down, stay down. Oh, you better be careful, Stone Cold. Oh, Austin, if he knocks knock Brett out, Brett can't say I quit. This I quit match, Ken Shamrock, the referee. We are in Chicago, this is WrestleMania 13. Neither Austin or the Hitman have ever submitted in their professional careers. It's all on the line here. A lot of pride. Who's the alpha male? Nice leg sweep by the, by the Hitman. Man, this crowd is going wild, JR. They're, they're waiting to hear one of these superstars say they quit. You got to think that the Hitman is second sharpshooter. Focusing on the leg of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh-oh, this is not going to be good for the Rattlesnake. Oh, man. Red Hart. Oh, man, look at this. Ow! The figure four using that ring post as leverage. Shamrock trying to free Stone Cold. And Austin, the damage has been done. Austin in a bad, bad way. But he still will not say he quits. I'm not so certain that this match we called right down the middle our guest here.
Well, to be honest with you, I don't imagine that this will be business as usual. You'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. I'm not so certain that this match we called right down the middle by our guest here. That arm is getting pummeled. Oh, look at this, JR. Man, I'm telling you, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, look out! Look out. Oh, inverted atomic drop. And Austin, that's a low blow, technically. Again, a no disqualification match. Referee Ken Shamrock. Help us to do anything about it. Now what's the hitman doing? Uh oh, look out. Steel chair. Bret Hart bringing a steel chair in the ring. It's as legal as a wrist lock. Things are about to get ugly. Oh, right to the leg. Austin in trouble. Oh, oh no, oh no. Hart's got evil intentions. This is gonna be damn bad, JR. This is gonna be real bad. Oh, look at this. This is gonna be, wait a minute, wait a minute. Bret Hart took too long, Stone Cold got a chair! Oh man, the steel chair right in the spine. From downtown, Victoria, Texas. Oh, look at Austin. He is begging Bret Hart to get back to his feet. And that, uh oh, look out, JR, Austin's got that chair. Austin keeping his word. <laughs> he said he, oh my God. He said he was gonna beat the hell out of Hart. And he's doing it with that steel chair. Nothing the referee can do about it. The stakes are high. Oh, what a bruising blow with the chair. Looks like another check in the wind column. Oh, that chair has got to hurt. And bashes him with the chair. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. It's really hard to imagine what's going through the head of our guest here. They may be having a hard time staying out of this matchup. Now, let me tell you, folks, that'll knock the third grade out of your brain. I'm not so certain that this match we called right down the middle by our guest here. What an amazing match here at WrestleMania 13. The hitman, oh, Bret man. Hart, trying to lock oh. in the sharpshooter king. You know how that feels. Yes, it I is do. deadly painful. Oh my gosh, and Bret Hart has it cinched in. Stone Cold Steve Austin, I don't think he's got any choice, JR. He's going to have to say, I quit. Austin a long way from the ropes. He can't reach the ropes. Referee Ken Shamrock right down in Austin's face to hear him say, I quit. Austin in a bad, bad way, obviously. Wait a minute. Brett got off balance. Brett lost his balance there, lost his, his leverage, but he didn't re relinquish the hold. Oh, he still got it locked in and now applying even more pressure. An amazing display of guts. Listen to Shamrock. He's saying, Austin, do you quit? Do you quit? Shamrock's done an amazing job of fishing this match. Austin has passed out. That's it. Austin is unconscious. As a result of Stone Cold Steve Austin losing consciousness, the winner of this bout, Brett Hitman Hart. The match is over. The referee has stopped it. Austin cannot continue. And there's no reason for Bret Hart to continue this onslaught. He's won the match but he's frustrated that he couldn't make Austin say, I quit. He's gonna try to put that sharpshooter on again. Shamrock, look at Shamrock! Shamrock with a takedown, waist lock takedown, and Shamrock will fight you, Brett. He will fight you right now. Bret Hart showing no sportsmanship whatsoever after winning this controversial match here at WrestleMania 13. Well, Bret Hart wins, but Stone Cold Steve Austin just too stubborn to say, I quit. And this crowd chanting, Austin, Austin, man, what a, we come in here, Hart was a fan favorite, Austin was the enemy, they leave the different hey, roles. Stunner! Austin on one leg. 
You never trust a rattlesnake. Never. They don't make good corporate pets, let me tell you. Austin on one leg. Refuse to say I quit. The last few times these men have fought, one or the other was struggling with injuries, be it Stone Cold's knee or the hitman's ribs. Yeah, but not tonight, JR. No excuses here. Just two of the best standing toe to toe. Here we go. Starting quick, as you might suspect it would. This match is personal, JR. I mean, deeply personal between these two. And what's it gonna take to settle it? Well, if history is any guide, one of these men might have to be knocked unconscious for the other to win. Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's feeling it. He knows he's in charge right now. Look out, Bret Hart. Oh, double axe hand on the Hart's head. Austin wants to be Hart like a government mule oh. here with the hitman. He's not going to give up without a fight. And that's what we've had this whole match. Whoa. A fight. This fight is spilled outside the ring, out onto the floor, and it can get dangerous out here. Oh, look out. Austin. Reversal. Oh, Austin reverses. And Bret Hart goes for the ride. My God, there's no surcease, and Hart's got a family, for God's sakes. I don't think Stone Cold Steve Austin cares about Hart's family right now. Watch out. Oh! Hart's head bouncing off the steps. The tide has turned. And now, look at the rattlesnake. He's adding insult to injury, mocking Bret Hart. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Steve Austin making his statement as we speak. Stone Cold, look at this. Unbelievable. What a machine. Look at him go. Yeah, Austin blocking out the paint and just fighting like a, like a pit bulldog. And that dog looks like he's about to tear the hitman apart. He wants this battle decided inside the ring. Oh, there might be no getting up from that neck breaker. This match is personal, JR. I mean, deeply personal between these two. And what's it going to take to settle it? Well, if history is any guide, one of these men might have to be knocked unconscious for the other to win. Showing no signs of letting up. Ah! Incredible move by Steve Austin. He's simply reminding him that he's there. Oh, out of nowhere! Just making his presence felt there.
There are a few better. Oh my, Steve Austin. Is this it? And what a match here in Rochester, New York. It is Stone Cold Steve Austin using the strength oh, of Bret Hart. It's essentially three on one against the Rattlesnake. We have some other officials trying to keep the Hart Foundation at bay. Yeah, good luck with that. Stone Cold Steve Austin going back with that sharpshooter again. He's trying to beat Bret Hart with his own home. The Hart family fights like this at Sunday breakfast. <laughs> and Austin trying to win with a sharpshooter. Oh, watch out. Look out. He's got a chair. Oh, my God. Austin hammered right in the spine with that steel chair. The referee calls to the bell. That'll be a disqualification. Bret Hart will lose this match via disqualification. This is not the way Austin wanted to win it, no doubt about that. Well, wait a minute. As a result of a disqualification, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Making the mistake of getting back in the ring, thinking Austin's wounded prey, but Austin's loaded oh, for bear. Man. Austin's loaded for Hitman with a shot you can hear in Calgary. Get out! Oh! Right across the knee with a steel chair. Austin laying it in on the Hitman Bret Hart. And now it looks like the Rattlesnake is determined to break the leg of the Hitman Bret Hart. Ironically, in Hart's own sharpshooter. Man, what about poetic justice here? The referee trying to reason with Austin, who's won the match by disqualification. Here are some other officials. There's no stopping the rattlesnake now. We need a rattlesnake intervention. <laughs> this is not the way Austin wanted to win the match by disqualification. But what a rivalry between Bret Hart, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and the Hart Foundation that is far from over. I guarantee you that. Trying to help a limping Bret Hart back to the dressing room. And the Texas Rattlesnake gets his hand raised. He'll get the winner's share of the purse tonight. And the Hart Foundation forced to regroup. Shawn Michaels, ladies and gentlemen. And he's beloved by so many, so many fans. And unquestionably, one of the greatest entertainers in world wrestling entertainment history. Shawn Michaels is back in action. Yeah, and this should be a wonderful matchup. I mean, these men are tag team partners. They're not personal friends. They don't like each other, but they make one hell of a tag team. I think the best tag team in the world today, anywhere you want to look. But they're putting aside that partnership tonight, getting ready to square off in one of the most compelling rivalries the WWE has ever seen. Between the ropes. Great offense by Steve Austin. And it all began for Stone Cold in 96 when he became king of the ring. Yeah, you're right. That's when Austin 316 was born. And since then, Austin has been on a one-way roller coaster ride straight up to the top. Yeah, and also since then, the WWE has sold an awful lot of those t-shirts. Steve Austin with the offense. And Steve Austin is doing an excellent job dominating this match.
Both men are native Texans. Yeah, JR. And like most native Texans. Oh, look at the rattlesnake, JR. What a matchup, Shawn Michaels. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Great action. These two men, two got to be future Hall of Famers in WWE is Austin having a little fun now at uh, HBK's expense. Yeah, you might not want to take too much time to gloat there, Stone Cold. Still some work to be done here. Absolutely. Michael's very oh. resilient. Mr. WrestleMania, Shawn Michaels, trying to work his way back up to his feet. The snapmare by Austin again taking Michaels off Michaels' feet. Well, Michael, hey, look at this. Look. Oh, nice, nice counter into the reverse chin lock. Michaels with the educated feet, the sweet chin music. Austin with a stone cold stunner. They're both looking to finish the other off any way they can. Well, watch out here. Sending Michaels into the rope. Oh, big shoulder tap. Michaels with the advantage. Austin avoids contact. And Michaels again reverses Austin. Boy, action fast and fierce. Oh, oh, oh. Great athleticism. Look at it. Uh oh, caught. One time. Oh, no. Inverted atomic drop. Michaels pulled it along the outside clothesline. Can Michaels get back in the ring? Michaels goes down hard, JR. Thing here. Two. He's too good inside the ring to be on the floor for long. Three. Stone Cold fans. Shawn Michaels fans, no matter who you're a fan of, we are being treated to a magnificent matchup here in the WWE. Oh, you're right about that. You look wherever you want, folks. You're not going to see two superstars at the top of their game like Shawn Michaels and Steve Austin anywhere else in the world today. I mean, if I were starting a ball club, that'd be the draft choices one and one A right there. Shawn Michaels being pressed hard. He's showing no signs of letting up. It's nothing but air. And here you've got two great horses. You've got a thoroughbred in Shawn Michaels, who's won a lot of races. And then you've got that quarter horse, that thick, heavily muscled quarter horse. That's what Stone Cold Steve Austin is. And yes, he's going to win his share of races as well. No doubt about it. And not to beat a dead horse, no pun intended, but both thoroughbreds and quarter horses can be champions. These two definitely prove that. Michaels has that far away look in his eye. Oh, what a match we have here, JR. Look at this. The tag team champions against each other in a one on one matchup. Don't call Steve Austin. Oh, look out, look out. Oh, Austin, the referee, cracking heads. The referee is down. Austin is dazed. Ah, oh, sweet chin music. Oh, he's caught. Austin blocks the sweet chin music. Downstairs, Stone Cold Stunner. The stunner on Michaels. What? No referee. Austin counting his own three count, but that's unofficial to say the least. Looks like Stone Cold's going to try to revive this rep and get that count. Austin trying to get the referee uh, coherent, but wait a minute. What? A stunner on the ref. For what? What was that all about? Austin, the Texas rattlesnake, strikes. Oh, oh sweet chin music. Good grief, what a shot to the face, but no referee. Wait, there's another referee. Come on, ref, turn around. This referee is trying to revive the original referee. The yeah, referee stick together trying to check on his uh, well-being. Oh, oh, Michaels, sweet chin music on the second referee. We've got striped shirts down. Zebras are lying everywhere. Now, Michaels like trying, to, trying to get the original referee to count. He does one, two, and that's it. No, oh my gosh, Stone Cold kicked out. Got so many zebras down, it looks like Wild Kingdom. Come on, get one of these referees revived. Michael's trying to revive the referee. Here comes a third referee. At least he's fresh. A third referee has seen what's going on. It's also disqualified, it looks like. And the and Michaels has been disqualified. Both Michaels and, and Austin are going to go home with a 
short end of the purse tonight. I don't think absolutely anything has been said. The winner has disqualified both men, ruling this bout a double disqualification. How are these two men going to coexist over the long haul, tag titles or not? Whoa! Austin trying to get a shot in on Michaels. Oh, look out, look out. They're thinking the same way. It's a standoff. King, there's no trust here. <laughs> None whatsoever. It's like one of your marriages. There's yeah. no trust. <laughs> and it won't last long either. It won't last long. How can these two guys coexist? They're great, they're great wrestlers. They're amazing athletes, but there is absolutely zero trust involved in these two guys. Two massive egos, but very talented. They'll be fun to watch. Gentlemen, there you see them, led by The Rock, the nation of domination. About to enter the arena, accompanied by fellow nation of domination members, Farouk, Kama Mustafa, and Hilo Brown is the challenger. Weighing 270 pounds, The Rock. Rookie by Dion. Mustafa, D'Lo Brown, Farouk, and The Rock. Okay, finally, the time has come for The Rock to defend his Intercontinental title. He'll lay a little smack down on you if you let him. Man, what a, what a, what a rival. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Victoria, Texas, playing 250 pounds. Only the rattlesnake. World Wrestling Intercontinental Champion, so Steve Austin. So cold, Steve Austin, with the dead stack the distance. But what an entrance they are, and here we go, Steve Old Brown. Stone Cold all over the rock, but watch out. D'Lo Brown from behind, and Farouk. D'Lo is sneaking up on him. The rock got to Austin's attention. Austin been beat down. The match has not started. Now this is bad for Stone Cold. Austin may be too damaged to even have a match here. And look at the nation of domination. They're stomping that mud hole in Austin and walking it dry. The nation doing exactly what they came here to do, dominating. Uh-oh. What's D'Lo thinking? D'Lo Brown, ah! oh my God! What elevation D'Lo landed on the hood of the truck. The former main black bear, D'Lo Brown. And now what's this? Oh, a stunner. Good night, D'Lo, thanks for coming. The resale value of that truck is gonna be nil. And now it's Austin, it's Rock. It's what we came to see. Down goes The Rock. Steve Austin with the offense. What a beast Steve Austin has been so far in this match. Oh, watch out. Austin sent into the ropes, and now over the top rope, out onto the floor, JR. The Rock maneuvering Austin over the top rope. Austin landed very, very uh, awkwardly uh -oh, uh -oh. on the outside. Here uh -oh. comes Farouk with a double sledge and a right hand to the kidneys by the Giant. And Kama Mustafa getting in on the action, too. These guys are going to, oh, oh. landing Austin's head right into his own truck. And now the chair, oh, my oh. God. Um, Austin able to duck out of the way, and now, oh! Austin dodged a bullet and fired a double barrel shot of his own, but The Rock taking advantage of Stone Cold.
the wrestling ring. You're right, JR. This is more like a demolition derby. Yeah, but they're not using trucks. They're using human bodies. Well, they are using one truck, JR, remember? Look, it's right over there. Just making his presence felt there. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. Not this! A new fast press, followed by a flurry of right hands. The odds are against Stone Cold. The deck has been stacked. Austin's truck has been demolished. And he don't care about any of it. Only thing that concerns the Rattlesnake is the Intercontinental title. Man, what a matchup. And The Rock counters. Scoop slam. Ooh. The great one slamming the, uh, the Rattlesnake. Uh oh, look at There goes that elbow pad. Woo, look at that move. Here comes the most electrifying move in all of sports entertainment, JR. Oh, it's the people's elbow. Oh, no, he missed him. Austin dodged the bullet there. And the Rattlesnake fires those piston-like right hands. Another right hand down goes The Rock. The Rock cannot be enjoying this. Oh, look at this. Stone Cold Stunner for Rock. Whoa, wait a minute. Well, the eight for the big man got taken down by Woo! Austin. And then Austin now, the, he's dismantling the nation. Except, uh -oh. Oh, 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 The Rock. Oh, my God, no. No, come on, Rock. There's, oh. there's no sense in this. The brass nuts. My God. The rock of those nuts. Austin blocks it. Ah, Stunner. The Stone Cold Stunner King. Yeah, but look, oh, there is a referee. Look at this. Three. Austin beats the rock with a stunner. I'm going to tell you something, JR. If the rattlesnake can get past Shawn Michaels, plus that enforcer, plus Triple H outside the ring. He's really done something here tonight, but can he do it? And what he's done is become the WWE Champion here in Beantown, Whoa. Austin. Austin showing Shawn Michaels just what he thinks of uh, Michaels attitude. Attitude or not, Michaels arguably Whoa. the greatest in-ring performer of all time with a stinging left. I don't know if you want to anger the rattlesnake with a fist this early in the match. Playing some mind games against Austin, who's very aggressive. Has everything to gain in this match, does Austin. Look out! Oh, nice close line by Austin, taking down Shawn Michaels. Stone Cold's going to want to slow this thing down, be deliberate. Right and now, Stone Cold is introducing Shawn Michaels' face to those top turnbuckles. Who are not very friendly, quite frankly. Shawn Michaels trying with everything he can to do to get out of the ring. Up to go to the outside where he's got some friends. A leg sweep there by Austin, taking down Michaels. You want to slow Michaels down? Whoa, oh, yeah. my God! Ooh! What a back body drop right over the top rope. Michaels colliding on the outside with his comrade. And now Stone Cold has an advantage. Okay, hey, watch out from behind! Triple H! Oh, we knew this was going to happen. Oh, watch out! Triple H running. The rattlesnake right into that, right into that barricade. Man, this is uh, this is borderline a handicap match. No kidding, boy. The referee admonishing Triple H right now, reading the riot act. Watch it. And the issue about it is for the WWE title. We're at WrestleMania. And gentlemen, the WWF official has informed me that he is ordering Triple H to leave the ringside area immediately. Triple H has been ejected. Yes. And his nose will get to the locker room an hour before he does. <laughs> man, oh man, this is good news for the rattlesnake. Oh, but this is bad. Look out. Austin has got to find a way to get back up, get back in this thing, or he's going to not be the WWE champion. Whoa. Steve Austin making his statement as we speak. Holy smack to the arm.
It's really hard to imagine what's going through the head of our guest here. They may be having a hard time staying out of this matchup. Remember, our guest here is only here to officiate the match, not get involved. Of course, I'll believe that when I see it. I don't know what's going to happen here. Steve Austin making his statement as we speak. This might be big. Michaels looks to be in magnificent condition, but so does Stone Cold Steve Austin in his black boots and his black tights. Yeah, but Michaels, with all the charisma and the sizzle. It's really hard to imagine what's going through the head of our guest here. They may be having a hard time staying out of this matchup. When he gets going like this, there are few better. Oh, the velocity, the impact. You can hear it. He's in the driver's seat, and he knows it. I'm not so certain that this match will be called right down the middle by our guest here. Oh, look at this, JR. Reversal. Austin caught the sleeper hole. A beautiful sleeper by Shawn Michaels. He's cutting off the uh, blood supply to the brain, crimping the carotid artery. Oh, Austin man. is fading. The referee making sure Austin is, if Austin goes unconscious here, this match is over. And oh! The referee caught in the corner. Again, Michaels and Austin both destroying the referee. There is no referee right now. And here comes Michaels, but oh, out of the way. Is, oh, let me introduce your face to that top turnbuckle. And we need a referee out here. Look at Shawn Michaels here. Well, to be honest with you, I don't imagine that this will be camel clutch locked in, wrenching on the neck and lower back. He's simply reminding him that he's there. This might be, oh my, Steve Austin. It's really hard to imagine What's going through the head of our guest here? They may be having a hard time staying out of this matchup. Well, to be honest with you, I don't imagine that this will be business as usual. I'm not sure I can watch this. Oh, look at Shawn Michaels. He is so full of himself, JR. HBK's got great confidence, and rightfully so. Yeah, he's got the enforcer. Yeah, you might be right there, King. And sometimes that neck pain can be felt all the way down the spine. Stay down. Stay down. Man down. Man down big time. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. He misjudged the range on that one. I'm not so certain.
that this match will be called right down the middle by our guest here. My God, this whole match is a testament to Michael's intestinal fortitude. Well, not to mention JR Stone Cold competing on one badly injured leg. I never saw a rattlesnake with any legs, injured or otherwise. Yes, you have, JR. And his name is Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh oh, JR, you know what this means. Austin in trouble, there's no doubt about that. And the enforcer taking out the trash. And Michael tuning up the van. Oh, no. Can you hear that music playing? Oh, no, sweet chin music. No. Off the counters. Off the other over the stunner. Well, watch that foot from. Oh, it's caught. Caught by Stone Cold. Austin blocks. <laughs> and Austin with a stunner. Austin with a stunner. Could this be it? The enforcer in the count. Austin's got it. Stone Cold. Stone Cold. Stone Cold has won it. The winner of this cup. And new WWE champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin. I can't believe it, JR. You told me it was going to happen. You said history would be made at WrestleMania 14, and it's been done. The Enforcer counts out Shawn Michaels. These men competed in early March of 96, and it resulted in a double countout. And you know what they say, JR? That's like kissing your sister. Well, I don't think kissing is on either of these two superstars' mind at the moment. Not the most effective striking here. A highly competitive matchup here between Savio Vega and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, and if by competitive, you mean they're beating the tar out of each other, then yeah, it's definitely competitive. It's WrestleMania 12, and they're laying it all on the line here. Well, that's the only way to compete in the WWE. Let it fly, and let the cards and bodies fall where they may. A highly competitive matchup here between Savio Vega and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, and if by competitive, you mean they're beating the tar out of each other? Then yeah, it's definitely competitive. It's WrestleMania 12, and they're laying it all on the line here. Well, that's the only way to compete in the WWE. Let it fly, and let the cards and bodies fall where they may. And that's just a little example of why the Million Dollar Man has such faith and confidence in Steve Austin. And it looks like that confidence is well placed, wouldn't you say, JR? Well, I'll tell you this. If Vega was smart, he'd get away from the larger man, make Stone Cold chase a little bit. He's showing no signs of letting up. Yeah, I got a feeling, JR, that this is going to be a little on the physical side. Nothing subtle about these two competitors. Unlike you, incredible move by Steve Austin. some air here. Whoa. 
getting back into the ring now. Two. Hey, so effective. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. Three. He's got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Oh, look at this, JR. Austin sent into the ropes and a big chop from Savio Vega. Man, WrestleMania 12 has been an amazing event here. <laughs> the uh, million dollar belt on the outside being uh, controlled by, of course, the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase, who has taken over the managerial duties of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Hey, look out! Oh, my, the referee. The referee got it. Taken down by that big side kick when Stone Cold moved out of the way. And now look at DiBiase passing the million dollar belt. Oh no, you don't think, you don't think the rattlesnake would do this, do you? Using, oh! Man, Austin using the million dollar championship as a weapon right between the eyes of Savio Vega. And apparently, Austin's not, not through. Not again, oh! On the back of the head. Austin driving that heavy, precious metal belt into the back of the head of Savio Vega. Well, and then got rid of the evidence. And now look at this, JR. It's the million dollar dream being applied to Vega by Stone Cold Steve Austin and all. Oh yeah, of course. Come on, ref. Million dollar man's Look gonna up. revive the referee to get him over to stop this. Or, or. DiBiase showing no, can, acting like he cares about the referee. Right. Disingenuous. The referee finally has his wits about him. And Savio is unconscious after being struck in the head not once but twice. That's and true. now the million dollar dream. Some have called it the Cobra Clutch. That's Some it. have called it the Shinonomaki. Here's the winner, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Well, you know as well as I do, it was that million dollar belt that sent Savio Vega to Dreamland. Yeah, and Austin can let go any time, ref. Any time today. Finally, Austin shoving Savio down like he was a piece of trash. And Stone Cold wins at WrestleMania at 12. Austin, black boots, black tights, black heart. Can you believe a wrestling administrator said Austin would never make it in black tights? Yeah, what a dummy that guy was. So we got the man wearing black versus the man wearing tie-dye. I guess. Steve Austin can feel the momentum swinging his way. Hey, where's McMahon? And again, I don't know. I don't know where. You know, this McMahon said he was going to be sitting right here at ringside. We heard from him earlier. And he has left with his entourage and has yet to return. Well, maybe the catastrophic event was poor Kane getting set on fire. Might have been. That's pretty damn uh, catastrophic. He's in full-on attack mode now. Oh, this is not bad. Press. Look at Austin go. Well, I, I guess dude is number one in Austin's heart right now. He's still got those beads on, for goodness sakes. Dude's got a new hairstyle. He's got his hair frosted. He really, he's really in this dude love persona game. Oh, come on, JR. You know he looks good. I think he should have spent more time training and less time at the salon. Oh, you're just jealous of how good looking dude love is, JR. When you look in the mirror, your reflection throws up. Working on the body here. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. Three! Inside the ring again. Right on the neck. Ouch! 
Well, we're on the move here. Nobody knows Austin better than the dude, JR. He knows Austin's weaknesses. That's because, of course, they were tag team partners. Matter of fact, they were tag team champions. So pull Steve Austin. Dude love one-on-one. -on -one. And dude, those massive legs and that Joe Stecker-like uh, body scissors. And look oh, who's no. here. Look who's here. Mr. McMahon and his stooges. Jerry Briscoe and Pat Patterson. And his Briscoe has uh, got a chair. And you knew who that chair is for. You got to say it's for Mr. McMahon. Mr. McMahon, where do you put the chair? Mr. McMahon. You're right, Vince McMahon sits anywhere he wants to, and now he wants to take a ringside seat to view the action here. Yeah, well, good job, Pat. Yeah. Pat and Jerry, you, you, did, you did your job. See you, Stooges. Yeah, you guys can leave now. As a dude love with that body scissors uh -oh. on Austin. Austin catching the elbow. A dude love kept his hands down. Austin took advantage. Uh oh! oh. In uh, South of Tijuana. I wouldn't doubt it a bit. And uh, how do you feel, Austin? There you go. Hey, hey, look at this. Hey, the shoulders are down. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. Hey, he's going for it again. Oh, my. Steve Austin. Austin is amazing. The popularity that this man brings is unmatched. Yeah, it seems like everybody loves it when the man with the black cowboy hat or black trunks. Right love about to get sent for the ride. Wait a reversal, JR. Dude Love looking for an advantage. He may have it here. The abdominal stretch. McMahon wants the bell to be wrong. Well, now look at this, JR. Vince McMahon instructing the timekeeper to ring the bell. But wait, he's not ringing it. Well, right now, Austin's got the advantage. McMahon says, no, don't ring the bell. Don't ring the bell. No, oh, no, no, don't right. ring the bell. Oh, no, this is terrible. And oh. Dude Love with a counter. It looks like this one's going to continue. Oh, my gosh. McMahon's making up the rules as we go along. He doesn't want to do this outside. Oh, look at this. Dude Love sent into the ropes, but whoa, he caught Stone Cold with a neck breaker. Nice neck breaker by Dude Love, much to the delight of Mr. McMahon. Mr. McMahon still at ringside. McMahon and Austin have got an amazing rivalry. There is total disdain, and I look at Dude. What he's, is he doing? Dude is jiggling the man. Does he think he's the showstopper? Is he going to try sweet chin music? Hey, Dude, you're not Shawn Michaels. You're a huge fries short of a Happy Meal, and now you're caught. Uh oh Austin, sign language. Uh -oh. oh, Dude rumbled and bumbled and stumbled and ran right over the referee. So the referee is down, and... Stone Cold Steve Austin should take advantage now, Austin, and he is. Austin, nothing pretty about those right hands, but they're very effective. Dude loves... Hey, reversal. Oh, reversal by Dude. Nice move, and Austin downstairs, <laughs> looking for the stunner. The stunner is countered, now the mandible claw. Oh, no. Mr. McMahon likes what he's seeing. The mandible claws applied to Austin. Oh, that, it, that nasty hand right down into the gullet of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Who knows where that hand has been? And Austin may be moments away from losing. And, and Dude Love. There's a cover. Going for the cover. Oh, no. The claw again. Referee's incapacitated. Mr. McMahon trying to revive that referee. You better wake up, referee. You'll be fired. McMahon is admonishing the referee. And Dude's got Austin beat, but no ref. You don't want to give Austin any second chances. And that's what he's getting here. And here comes another mandible claw. Whoa, look out. 300 plus pounds over the top rope. McMahon is living at Dude Love, admonishing him to get back in the ring or you'll fire. 
Oh, look at this. Chaos here. They're fighting over that, that metal folding chair, and who's going to... Oh, boy. Austin got the chair, but now knocked right out of his hand by Dude Love. Dude Love is staggering around. Dude Love, Mr. McMahon looking on. Yeah, Mr. McMahon saying, hit him. Hit him with a chair. And Austin with his worst elbow drives the chair back in the face of Dude Love. He may be missing some more oh. teeth. He may kill some more brain cells. And down goes Dude. And look at Vince McMahon admonishing Dude. Oh, oh my God. The rattlesnake put that steel chair right up the side of the head of Vince McMahon. The board meeting has come to an abrupt end as Austin throws Dude Love back in the ring. Austin turns it around, and Dude is down. The Dude is down. Just making his presence felt there. Steve Austin being pressed hard. This is a painful submission hold and used to great effect here. He gets out. Oh, look at this there. Oh, stutter. Austin has the stutter on Dude Love. Hooks the leg. Austin's going to count. Austin now is the referee. What in the heck is going on here? My God, what is oh, It's insanity. And still, WWE Champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin. The rattlesnake has struck. I cannot believe that Austin has hit Vince McMahon, the owner of the WWE, and he hit him right in the face. Oh. I think things have started to go awry for Mr. McMahon and company. I think you're right, JR. And I don't think this was in their business plan. Dude Love with about a 30 pound weight advantage over Steve Austin. The WWE title, folks, is on the line here. Steve Austin can feel the momentum swinging his way. And the strike lands. Well, to be honest with you, I don't imagine that this will be business as usual. Remember, our guest here is only here to officiate the match, not get involved. Of course, I'll believe that when I see it. And we... Oh, look at this, JR. Oh, dude love countering the attack of Stone Cold Steve Austin here. This is nothing but Muskogee on Saturday night. Watch out, watch out! Oh, Spanish announce table didn't go down, but our amigos are scattering. No kidding. Vamos! Adios! Austin is hurt. Austin is now in trouble. What? This is a reminder that this match is a no disqualification. Hey, what is going on here? I don't know, but who knows what McMahon's going to do? He's insane. He's making up the rules as we go along here. Indeed, Austin is hurt, but how badly can he continue? Mr. McMahon has made this a false count anywhere match, and our referee is certainly very unbiased, isn't he, folks? Well, when you're signing the checks, JR, you can do whatever the heck you like. Including making up the rules as you go along? Welcome to the real world. He lands the strike with great accuracy. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause mess. Oh, look at this. What an abuse of power. Mr. McMahon, Mr. McMahon is a referee in his jacked up referee shirt. Oh, no, look at Oh, Austin taking a chance. Boy, that chance may cost Austin this match against Dude Love. Patterson and Briscoe on the outside. Mr. McMahon is the referee. How can a referee be so one-sided? Look out here. Oh, man. The Austin and McMahon 
they, they detest each other. And now Stone Cold Steve Austin out on the floor and in big trouble. And here comes Dude Love again. Dude Love on the outside. Austin, oh, neck breaker. Dude can't win the match on the outside, can he? Austin is lying motionless and wait a minute. This is a reminder in this match, falls count anywhere. Is there no depth to which Mr. McMahon will not stoop? Austin doesn't get tired, he gets mad. Now back to the ring. This guy can go toe to toe with anybody. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Austin with his right hands on Dude Love. WWE title is on the line. And here's a cover. Do this. And the count. Oh, how fast was that count by McMahon? But somehow Stone Cold still kicked out. Mr. McMahon, the self-appointed referee. Wait, he's calling. McMahon's calling for help here. He's calling for a give Dude that chair. Dude Love oh, with, it. with a steel chair buries it in Austin's abdomen. Oh. And right on the spine of the Texas rattlesnake. Uh, Austin in deep, deep trouble, King. That has got to be it. All Dude Love has to do now is cover Stone Cold Steve. But what, he's going to dish out more punishment on the chair. Double R, DDT, Austin's head on a chair. It's over. It's over. No, no. Austin kicks out. The rattlesnake kicks out. And Vince McMahon cannot believe it. And neither can Dude Love. Dude Love still now armed with that steel chair. And here comes Dude. And oh, Austin. The count of the chair right back in the face oh. of the toothless wonder, Dude Love. And now a clothesline. Dude Love's down. Mr. McMahon very concerned, as he should be. Oh, boy. That, the chair is legal. The chair is legal. And Austin, wow. what a shot. That was out of here. That a, is it. A four-bagger with Austin's hey, chair hey. shot. And, Look at this. Come on, ref. Come on, Mr. McMahon. What kind of human being are you? He will not count. McMahon just hates Austin. Hey, watch it. Tell, look watch out, it, look Stone Cold. Oh! Dude Love inadvertently looking for Austin's head. Found Mr. McMahon, and there's another referee, King. Austin and Dude Love square off. This continues. He's showing no signs of letting up. It's really hard to imagine what's going through the incredible move by Steve Austin. Oh, looks like, yes, it is a stunner by Steve Austin. Austin going for the cover, should be all. There's the count. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, come on. What is Jerry Briscoe doing here? These stooges are a pain in their, they're worse than hemorrhoids. Get them out of here. Oh, boy. And oh, claw, man of the claw, J.R. Mandible Claw. Austin in trouble with the man of the claw. And now Briscoe's going to try to make a count. Woo! I've got it. It's the Undertaker. The Undertaker. And he is about to choke slam. Briscoe's not right through the announce table. Briscoe's body shot can't put Jerry back together. No way. Now let's see who. What's Patterson doing? Patterson trying to make a count. And now the Undertaker uh -oh. has Pat Patterson. Patterson's going to go banana. <laughs> The Undertaker glaring at Dude Love. What's he gonna do next? Camel clutch applied. And man, is he pulling back on that neck. Really going to work a good escape. Great offense by Steve Austin. The Undertaker. Oh, look at this. Oh, Austin going for a stutter, but he's caught with that mandible claw, JR. Austin looking to. Oh, oh, there it is. The stunner. The stunner. Yeah, Austin but, with a stunner. But yeah, the, McMahon's out, JR. How's he going to count? What? But Austin. Resourceful. Austin County <laughs> using the, the unconscious arm of uh, Mr. McMahon. and un-
punches the Mr. McMahon's arm to make the three count. The chairman of WWE is not going to like how this went down. <laughs> but Austin and Undertaker glaring at each other. You know what's on the Undertaker's mind. Exactly what Austin has in his right hand. The WWE Championship. This crowd, these fans in Cleveland, can't wait to see these two behemoths go toe to toe. You know what's going to happen, don't you, JR? You know what Kane's going to zero in on. Look at Austin's head. It was laid wide open last night by a chair from The Undertaker. And Kane is going to zero right in on it tonight. He'll bust Austin wide open. Stone Cold will see his own blood again tonight. Austin was in the hospital, folks. Last week, he was there three days. We'll see if he can steer clear of the hospital here tonight after this one. Steve Austin with the offense. This crowd is jacked. This match is everything that we thought it was going to be. Well, if Austin goes down, then it will be everything I thought it would be. A oh. very clever move. What a smart athlete. Five. Six. He wants this battle decided inside the ring. And he brings the action back inside the ring. Oh, it might be smart for the ref to call for the bell. That neck looks to be in bad shape. And his attack misses. Well executed offense. When he gets going like this, there are few better. Well, it ain't going to be pretty, but the gold is on the line. Well, what do you think McMahon is thinking right now, JR? Oh, he's got to be a little worried. He should be. Austin is definitely very incredible move by Steve Austin. This look at this. Austin going up. Well, look at this, JR, going for the tombstone. Austin counters up the backside. Austin looking for the stutter. No, and Kane counters. Well, here we go. Oh, Kane missed the big boot. But Austin did miss the stutter. <laughs> what a stutter on Kane. Oh. Well, look at this. There it is. It's a three count, JR. Austin's won. Austin pitched Kane. Though Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh. oh, the Undertaker entering the ring right over the top rope. Oh, this is not good for the rattlesnake. The Phenom locking eyes with Austin. And boy, this could get ugly in a hurry. Oh, wait a minute. The Undertaker turns his back on Austin. JR, you don't do that to the rattlesnake, do you? Never turn your back on a ah! rattlesnake, or you might get stunned. Stone Cold Steve Austin has beaten Kane. He has stunned The Undertaker, and Austin has the WWE title. Oh my gosh, what a night for Stone Cold Steve Austin. And of course, the, oh, oh, the Brothers of Destruction setting up simultaneously. Well, I've admired Stone Cold Steve Austin's reign as WWE Champion, but... Well, why don't you just go polish his belt for him? But I have never respected anyone any more than The Undertaker here in WWE. There is no intimidation. There is no fear in either man. Business has picked up. Collar and elbow tie-up. 
Steve Austin making his statement as we speak. Oh, the Undertaker is just too big. Look at this, JR. Austin needs a dig up ladder to fight him. The WWE title hangs in the balance here. And they're calling it the highway to hell. But for WWE fans, this is absolute heaven. Amen, Brother King. I actually agree with you for once. The shoulders are down. Oh, look at The Undertaker. He has enough gas left in the tank to duck that. Oh, what a lariat by The Undertaker on Steve Austin. It looked like Stan Hansen's lariat. What impact by The Undertaker. Both Undertaker oh, oh. and Austin down, Undertaker up. Gonna go for the cover or not? Let's see. Oh, no, I don't think so. He's wanting to finish Stone Cold off completely. Undertaker punishing Stone Cold Steve Austin. What a battle between two of the all-time greats in WWE. The Undertaker in firm control right now. A Stone Cold Steve Austin. And you're right, JR. It looks like The Undertaker wants to administer a little more punishment to the Rattlesnake. The arm ringer. Uh oh. The, uh oh. Old school. Old school coming up. He's going to walk those ropes. No! Look and, out! And Austin just jerked The Undertaker right off the top rope. And you don't see that happen very often to The Undertaker when he goes up top. And Austin's stuffing away at the ankle, the knee, the shin, trying to destroy the vertical base of the near seven-footer with those vile stomps to the leg. Undertaker in big-time trouble now, trying desperately. Uh-oh. Oh, look at Kane. Kane sees his brother, The Undertaker, in trouble, Kane, and is making his way toward the ringside area. That does not bode well for the Rattlesnake. But the Rattlesnake is not backing down. Referee trying to get Kane away from the ringside area. Wait a minute, look at this. And now Big Brother, The Undertaker, says, I don't need you here. Go back to the locker room. Stone Cold Steve Austin doesn't know quite what to make of this. Uh, it's The Undertaker refusing help from his own brother. Yeah, go back to the locker room, you pyromaniac, and play with some matches. Oh, my God, it's now Stone Cold Steve Austin all over The Undertaker once again. Whoop, look out. This is a Muskogee, Oklahoma ballroom brawl on a Saturday night between two of the toughest guys in WWE. Austin, oh! Austin right back on that injured leg of The Undertaker. And now Austin talking trash to Kane. And they're calling it the highway to hell. But for WWE fans, this is absolute heaven. Amen, Brother King. I actually agree with you for once. He's too good inside the ring to be on the floor for long. He wants this battle decided inside the ring. A punishing shot to the rib cage. A quick wing slam to the mat. This guy's just too strong. That was a heavy shot. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. Steve Austin making his statement as we speak. Oh, look at this. Here comes Stone Cold. Oh, and there goes Stone Cold. Austin's own momentum took it to the outside. Smart move by The Undertaker. The dead man now on the outside is even more dangerous than he is on the inside of the ring. Yeah, this is not a good spot for Stone Cold Steve Austin to be in here. Oh, look out, look out, look, look out. out. Man, those steel steps can't taste good. They're not covered in JR's barbecue sauce, let me tell you. This man is so unpredictable, so dangerous, is The Undertaker. 
Austin finds a very uncomfortable position on the our announce table. Referee trying to communicate with the Undertaker. The referee scolding the Undertaker, but it, that doesn't do any good. None, not whatsoever. Undertaker's not gonna stay in the woodshed. He'll kick the door open. Now the referee trying to get the Undertaker back in. Get inside the ring. Austin lying prone on the announce table. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is the Undertaker doing here, JR? This just doesn't look good. He's seven feet, 300 plus no! pounds. No! Undertaker with a leg drop. My God, Austin's broken in half. There's no way Austin can recover from this. And the, and the announce table didn't even break, but maybe Austin's body did. Referee checking on both men. It looks like it's carnage. It looks like a car wreck on I-35. And yeah, that's it. Austin is finished. And the Undertaker now seizing the moment with no conscience. The man, the demon of Death Valley, manhandling Stone Cold Steve Austin. Well, the Undertaker's in firm control. Stone Cold's got to do something here. Steve Austin's been dropped. His strike hits nothing but air. Two. He's simply reminding him that he's there. Oh, once you get out of the ring. Oh, my God. He just smashed him. And he brings the action back inside the ring. Here we go. This could be a perfect Stone Cold Stunner. It could be over here. Great ring presence to avoid that. Well, oh, there's no wiggle room here for Steve Austin. And his attack misses. His strike hits nothing but air. I got to tell you, I'm still not totally comfortable with this Kane factor. I mean, Kane's here. We saw Kane, and we have no word. We have no word other than mankind is receiving medical attention, from what we understand. Medical people are here in the arena. Well, who could be comfortable with the Kane factor, JR? I think that Mr. McMahon doesn't want Stone Cold Steve Austin to be comfortable. I think he wants that for, I think he wants it to be weighing on Austin's mind throughout this entire match, so that maybe Steve Austin's not thinking about The Undertaker the way he's supposed to be. Well, Stone Cold is a decorated champion. I don't think any mind or parlor tricks are going to distract Austin for what needs to be, oh my, Steve Austin. move by Steve Austin. Here's the cover. One, two, three. When the WWE yes. hits, the Rattlesnake takes it. Order of this match, and still the WWE Champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin. If The Undertaker would have listened to Mr. McMahon, he could be WWE Champion right now. The title's on the line, and here we go. Stone Cold's gonna try to take back his title, but The Rock, Mr. McMahon, and the power of the WWE is gonna try and make sure that doesn't happen, JR. has really gained some ground here with this prodigious offense.
Austin spots the opening. And he's headed back in. Two. Oh, look at Mr. McMahon. Hold him back. Hold him back. The WWE title is on the line in the ring, but it's chaos outside the ring. Yeah, JR, and that's just the way Mr. McMahon likes it. Not exactly a traditional business model. I'm not sure, but with a miss like that, I'm wondering if he has something in his eye. The Rock is making his presence known. is absorbing a lot of damage here. Oh, out of nowhere! Oh, wait, nice reversal. That'll knock you silly. It's history here. Austin had this match won, but they, look out! Undertaker's in the ring with a shovel, JR! A shovel! Oh, my God! Oh. Man, Austin, he hit the swing for the fences. The shovel striking Austin. Austin is done. What in the world is the Undertaker doing here? Not again. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Undertaker is going to finish Austin once and for all. Being restrained. I'm shocked to even see that. What the hell is going on here? Look at Paul Bear, that, that bulbous human being trying to restrain his son, The Undertaker. They are. Stone Cold had this match won, but now, with the help of The Undertaker, The Rock is still the WWE Champion. My God, dark days are ahead for Stone Cold Steve Austin. Here comes the rattlesnake, Jr. He's got to be, he's got to be shaking in his boots. You think? His opponent from the Korea, Texas, weighing 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. An evil reptile in his first ever buried alive man here in Vancouver. Yeah, he's looking over and inspecting what may be his own grave site. And the Undertaker has never lost. A buried alive match to our knowledge. Austin, to our knowledge, has never been in one. Here he comes! Whoa! Yeah, quick as going off that uh, hill of dirt. 
right there. Austin going for a clothesline. Didn't even take the Undertaker off his feet. Remember, there's no count outs. There's no disqualifications in this match. The match ends and one man is literally buried alive. Oh, look at this. Austin ramming the Undertaker into that barrier. And the Undertaker using whatever he can, whatever he wants, and it's all legal. The referee just gonna stand back. That's all he can do right now is stand back and watch the carnage. The Undertaker is in complete control. Can Austin survive? So damaging. I'm not sure I can watch this. Here comes Steve Austin. Oh. oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. He just snapped it off. Well, we're on the move here. Undertaker is under some heavy assault. Oh no, the deception of it all. Not gonna win many matches with that move. And there's an extremely destructive strike. I'm not sure I can watch this. Easily avoided. Nasty elbow. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous sledgehammer in the ring. And he gets in another shot with that weapon. I don't know how he can recover after being struck like that. Oh, look at this. That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. Over the past couple of weeks, people have asked, why would Stone Cold accept a match that is The Undertaker's forte? Well, Stone Cold's like a pit bull. Mr. McMahon dangled a piece of meat and Stone Cold bit. Well, that pit bull might be buried alive with that piece of meat right here tonight. All I know is that Stone Cold is a competitor, and there isn't a challenge that you can. Incredible move by Steve Austin. See the Undertaker shoveling that dirt onto Stone Cold Steve Austin in that grave? Oh, he would love it. Can you imagine being in that grave and having two tons of dirt shoveled in on you, trying to gasp for that last breath of air? Makes me shudder. Undertaker counters it. into this one. It's safe to say the entire WWE locker room has just been put on notice. Steve Austin with the offense. When he gets going like this, there are a few better. He catches them with the axe handle. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. Oh, what kind of punishment? What kind of maneuver? What is it going to take to get either The Undertaker or Stone Cold Steve Austin in the condition or in the position to be put into a grave? 
much less to be incapacitated so that you have dirt shoveled in on top of you. Well, I'm curious about that myself, King. You might have to destroy one of these two superstars before you can bury them. Yeah, well, we know that Stone Cold has had neck and concussion issues. Wow, it doesn't get much better than that right there. Well, we're on the move here. There oh my gosh, JR, this match is giving me chills the closer these two get to that grave site. Undertaker, often buried alive. A real walking, talking slobber knocker. Oh no, oh look at that shot. Oh no, JR. Stone Cold's in the grave. Will Austin be buried alive by the Undertaker? Or can Austin somehow, someway survive? Oh no, the dead man's going after that shovel. But look, Austin's, Austin's moving. Austin's got a heartbeat. Austin's alive. Austin's getting out of the grave. Stone Cold lives to fight it. Oh, what a battle this has been, JR. The Undertaker trying to get no. Steve Austin into that grave. These are career shortening matches, to oh. say the least. Austin with a right hand. Oh wait, Undertaker teetering here. Look at this. There! Austin with a stunner. And the Undertaker fell into the grave. Austin stuns the Undertaker all the way to hell in that grave. And there goes the dirt. The Undertaker is buried alive. Paul Bear in panic. Paul Bear waddling off. I don't, where's he going? Austin now getting out of the getting out of harm's way. Through, Wait a through hellfire and brimstone, the explosion of explosions. The Undertaker crawling back up out of that grave. He's alive. The Undertaker is alive. What? Now what? What? I, my God, is Kane. What in the hell is going on? This is, this is unbelievably macabre. I'll tell you what, folks, and this is an understatement. Kane is on a rampage. Undertaker is not someone to sleep on. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. That'll knock you silly. Kane is a force within the ring. from that suplex. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you could find yourself in a world of hurt. There oh, are no JR. rules in this two match. demonic brothers are to literally beating the hell out of each other. Everything goes. Oh, that's every right, JR. You carry your opponent. Anyway, any shape, any form, oh, yeah. any Kane. fashion that you can. And also keep man. in mind that both these guys are familiar with shovels. Oh, this is going to be it for Kane, I'm afraid, JR. Suffered a concussion no, with the Undertaker Kane. blasting well, in, in the, the head with the door. shovel. Oh, and then a couple weeks ago, Stone Cold returned the favor. Oh, no. he smashed the you Undertaker's head open with a shovel. That's a question here. Oh, my God. Oh, good freak. And the Undertaker is thrown into the grave. And look at this. Kane. Kane has tombstone the Undertaker. Now, can somebody tell me what the hell is going on with this? Whoa, 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 whoa. What in the world, JR? Is that a backhoe being driven in here? First, a dysfunctional family reunion, and now a backhoe is being brought into play. Stone Cold Steve Austin Good. has commandeered a backhoe. Good God Almighty, what's next, ladies and gentlemen? What is next? This is unbelievable. And now that, that backhoe is, is going into operation here. Kane tombstoning his brother, The Undertaker, into the grave. And now Austin directing traffic wants that backhoe operator to back it up, load the uh, bucket with dirt, and bury The Undertaker alive. I cannot believe what we are seeing here. Austin directing traffic. And now what's Austin doing? I never thought Austin could beat The Undertaker 
in a buried alive match. Oh my gosh, Chair, look. Are you kidding me? A couple of cold ones. What is this? A farewell party for The Undertaker? It's a going away party. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Whose party is this? The celebration has begun with a cold brewski. Good God almighty. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Here he oh, comes. look at him. Look at him. Mr. McMahon certainly full of himself. Now, what, are. what human being walks like that? Only if you're galled. Good grief. Well, Mr. McMahon. Good Lord. And Austin waited in a cage. We have waited a long time to see Mr. As Briscoe would say, Mr. McMahon. Right. Mr. McMahon and Austin in a cage. And we're about to see, see him get it on. I don't think this match is going to last very long for the chairman of WWE. Wait a minute, this match may not even get started. It looks like Mr. McMahon wants no part of getting in that steel cage with the rattlesnake. I don't blame him. Hey, wait. Mr. McMahon running away. McMahon running away from Austin. Have you ever seen McMahon run like that before, JR? Only the last time I asked him for a raise. He ran right out of his office. And now, look at this. Door, the doorway, trying to kick Austin away. Yeah, now he's not going to let Stone Cold Steve Austin inside and the cage. Oh, look and, out. And now Austin's toying with McMahon. I'm glad McMahon's wearing dark tights, dark clothing, because I've got to believe he's scared to death. Austin. Well, well there, there are more than one way to get inside that cage. Looks like Stone Cold Steve Austin's going to climb up and into the cage. And McMahon tried to climb out. What in the world? Austin has... Austin up there on the top. McMahon proving pretty agile. Oh, Whoa. oh, oh, gosh. Austin's left knee buckle. Austin's left knee as he jumped from the cage, twisted, and now Stone Cold Steve Austin right in front of us, uh -oh. writhing in pain. And look at this. Mr. McMahon sees an injured Austin. I think he's going to take advantage, JR. Uh, McMahon very opportunistic. Austin trying to get the feeling back in that knee, trying to straighten it out. And hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. Oh, yes. Stone Cold strikes. Mr. McMahon is down. <laughs> Austin fainting and suckered McMahon right into the outside. He's got to be vigilant about not taking any more damage to the neck. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Cage matches can be won by escaping the cage, pinfall, or submission. Very nicely done. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you could find yourself in a world of hurt. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. The steel cage surrounds the ring. It is dangerous. The cage so unforgiving. I'm not sure I can watch this. Stone Cold has waited for this day. Austin's hatred rivals McMahon. Oh, no, no, no way, not even close. Mr. McMahon's hatred for that beer-swilling moron knows no bounds, JR. Well, it's going to take more than hatred for Mr. McMahon to survive this match. Well, don't worry about it. The boss has something up his sleeve. I can assure you, he always has something up his sleeve. Well, we're on the move here. I'd say that's more embarrassing than anything else. Mr. McMahon getting completely dominated here, folks. Big right hand by Austin. Feeling it out, perhaps, here. Oh, look at this. I think uh, oh. Oh, that was a low blow, JR. Oh, that's a tenor shot. That's <laughs> south of the border. No. And look at now. Vince McMahon, I think he feels the only safe place for him is inside that cage away from Austin. He's going to try to climb in again, but... Uh oh the rattlesnake going right after him. McMahon does not, uh, has made a bad decision here. He should have, don't leave your feet, Vince. 
You know there's only one way to go, and that's down for you. Right. Austin's got evil intentions. Gravity will bring you down, Mr. Shot. McMahon. What a shot right oh. to the head. Oh, my God. Oh, for the love of God, McMahon, the chairman of WWE, has just crashed through the announce table, and Austin is surveying his handiwork and likes what he has seen. Oh, my God. Mr. McMahon, JR, you have we to need fall help. over we 20, need help. 20 feet down through that, from the steel cage down through the announce table. He's history. And the, the, they're bringing a gurney down. And that, this, this is bad. Fink's here to make some sort of announcement, one would assume. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout. Don't move me. No, it looks like the rattlesnake wants to have a few words. Well, Finkel makes his announcement while Mr. McMahon is being attended to. He's hurt badly. Here's McMahon. When I came here, I said I made a few guarantees going into this match, which haven't happened yet. As far as I'm concerned, the match never really started because when the, the bell never rang and we was never in the ring at the same time, so eh, eh, he ain't gonna lose that easy. Now, jackass, jackass, that's you in the black. Is the son of a bitch still breathing? Well, since he is still breathing, if you want me to finish this can of whoop ass, give me a hell yeah. Well, that is the bottom line. <laughs> Trying to get uh, the chairman of WWE to, to safety and to, and to get him some medical help. But Austin again coming down from the cage. Wait a minute, Jerry. What's, what's Steve Austin? Come on. Stone Cold, I think Mr. McMahon has had enough. Austin, those evil blue eyes. That's got evil intentions oh. as well. Hold it, wait a minute. You can't do this, not to Mr. McMahon. Oh, look out. Oh, my God. Oh. What a ride for McMahon, but an even worse landing. McMahon's head flat right off the uh, ring, the steel cage. Face and cage, cage wins. Not more, no. Oh, my goodness. All this bent up animosity, this rage coming out of Stone Cold Steve Austin. How much more can the chairman of WWE take? We know he's tough, but how, how tough can any human being be with this kind of treatment? I think the rattlesnake wants to finish Mr. McMahon off once and for all. Now back into the cage again. It took long enough this match to get started, and Austin wants to end it inside the squared circle. Austin. Uh-oh, uh, JR. Don't turn around, Mr. McMahon. You won't like the view. Ah! Part close line. What a tough start for McMahon. After all, he's been through before the bell even rang. Oh, well, listen to this. Oh, my goodness. The impact. This crowd going crazy for Stone Cold Steve Austin, who wants to go to WrestleMania. But first, he wants to demolish Totally, physically, emotionally, oh, oh. Mr. McMahon. And you're right, JR, over 19,000 people in unison cheering for Stone Cold Steve Austin. They want him to finish off McMahon completely. Austin is enjoying this. He's enjoying his handiwork. And here he goes. Austin can set both feet on the floor. He wins this match. And look at Mr. McMahon, oh, driven by goodness. unadulterated hatred. He's flipping off the rattlesnake. Now Not what, a wise move. What other chairman of a major publicly traded company would do this? Wait, Austin going back inside the cage? Ah, uh, Mr. McMahon, you're not gonna like this. Bam! Oh, how bad does Mr. McMahon hate Stone? Oh my gosh, Austin relentless in his punishment of poor Mr. McMahon. Austin is beating McMahon like a government mule. But McMahon is proving that he's $2 stake tough because he's got his ass whipped big time by Stone Cold Steve Austin in this steel cage match. Oh no, but JR, when is enough enough? He's gonna destroy poor Mr. McMahon. Wow. And now talking smack as well. 
when it comes to these two, their rivalry, they completely detest each other. Now Austin is going to escape the cage, win the match. Finally, mercifully, it will be over. Mr. McMahon won't have to absorb any more punishment. Hey, look at McMahon. What? I cannot believe the double middle fingers and Austin. Austin's not going to stand for it. Let's face it. Vince hates Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, no. Austin's coming back to punish Mr. McMahon some more. Will this conflict ever end? Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. Incredible move. Ah, Stone Cold Steve Austin has waited for this day, JR. And it's finally here. He's going to finish off Mr. McMahon. Here comes the star. Stunner! 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 And an earful from Austin to, to Mr. McMahon. My, my gun team. What? Out of the... the the ring through the ring is Paul White. Paul White? This is a massive human being. Right. He's a giant. His appendix scars four feet long. Look at this guy. He's colossal. Look at the size feet of this man. Oh, oh my God. Stone Cold Steve Austin has bitten off more than he can chew now. And there's no disqualification inside the cage. McMahon has out-strategized Stone Cold Steve Austin by literally hiding Paul White underneath the ring. McMahon wants White, this giant, to break Austin into pieces to make sure Austin doesn't go to WrestleMania. Oh, and he throws, the, look at this! Oh my God, the cage broke. Austin, oh man! Both feet touch the floor. Austin wins. Stone Cold's going to WrestleMania. And here's the bell. Oh. And now Austin is all over him. with the big boot on whip rack. Steve Austin now full head of steam. And the Stevester drops the leg. Cover hook of the leg. One, two, and no. Kick out. That lame ass crap ain't gonna get it done here in ECW. Austin all over Mikey whip rack. Mikey up and over to the concrete floor here at the ECW arena. Oh my God, the flip. We don't have any pretty blue mats here. On his neck! Let's it go. Steve Austin. He missed. And the reversal. And there's the reversal. 
Mikey Whipwreck with the reversal to the head. Stone Cold Steve Austin, without, without a doubt. And there's a lot of respect. The Rock already talking trash. The Rock learned to talk that trash at the U when he played football at the University of Miami. He is a trash talker. Oh, oh look at this. Stone Cold's no slouch when it comes to talking trash himself. Now The Rock blocking Stone Cold's the path, and here the fight is on, JR. It didn't take long for it to erupt, to explode, ah. as The Rock Elevates Austin over the top. Oh, this is going to be a battle for the ages here. Hey, Austin. Hey, we're a little close here. Already on the outside, referee trying to give both men with this amazing rivalry that exists between them back in the ring. You got to be in the ring to win the match. And the Rock taking the early advantage here. Big right hand has floored Stone Cold Steve Austin. The Rock is ragdolling Austin. He's beating him up, and he's beating him up convincingly. Oh, blocked, and now here comes that rattlesnake. Austin says, I'm no government mule. You're not gonna beat me to death. Look like a thumb to the eye there, JR. No doubt, King, good call. Thumb to the eye. Temporarily blocking oh. Austin, and look at Austin sidestepping the rock, and the rock over the top rope. Austin likes his handiwork. And this was just getting started. hand by Austin. Two. Three. Remember, our guest here is only here to officiate the match, not get involved. Of course, oh. I'll believe that when I see it. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. And friends and neighbors, that's one heck of a punch. It's really hard to imagine what's going through the head of our guest here. They may be having a hard time staying out of this matchup. Uh, 
Oh, look at this. Oh, watch out. Head first into those steps, and Stone Cold Steve Austin is reeling, JR. Reeling indeed, and the, uh, the Rock now. Oh, wait, he's going to have to take a little water break, I believe. Oh, The Rock got refreshing himself. Hydrated. Oh! Uh, this fit the, he spit right at Austin's face. How insulting. Man, these two guys, what a rivalry. Has there ever, oh, been, look a, out. Has there ever been a rivalry more intense than Stone Cold and the Great One? Tell you one thing, the rock, the rock may have just raised the ire of the rattlesnake a little further than he wanted to. Spitting into the rattlesnake's face, that's something you don't do. Rock on the Spanish announce table. Austin Luego. And I'm not sure what that means, but it could be Adios for the rock. And Austin oh! Oh, connects. High impact that takes both men to the floor. What these two won't do to each other. It is absolutely insanity out here. I know one thing, I wish they'd get back into the ring. Little too close for comfort out here. Uh-oh. That's Austin. Be careful, don't climb up on those chairs. They're not stable. Oh, whoa, look out! Austin from the security wall thinks he's a flying Melinda and drove that pointed elbow right into the sternum of the great one. Be careful, JR. Hey, that's, hey, that's my beverage. There's no oh, out. and now. Oh, returning the favor yes, is he Austin. Does. Spit, you spit in my face, I spit in yours. And now, finally, Austin throwing the rock back in the ring. And Austin seems to have the upper hand, at least for the moment. Oh, it looked like Stone Cold Steve Austin opening up a can on the rock right now, but wait, there's a reversal. The Rock reverses his right, and, and oh, uh -oh, Rock, oh, Samoan drop. The Rock with a Samoan drop going That's for the it. cover. Can he get three? No. Oh, he got two. A near fall, Austin barely, just barely able to kick out from that dynamic Samoan drop. And look at the Rock. He thought he had this thing won there, JR. Now Rock bottom. Rock bottom. Rock bottom. A Rock bottom by the Rock, the great one. Scores with, it, with his best. Oh, on the referee, that don't count. Austin with a stunner. That should be it, but the referee's incapacitated. There's another referee, and Rock kicks out. My God, what action. This is unbelievable. The Rock thought he had it won with the Samoan drop. The referee counted too slow in Rock's opinion. Got himself Rock bottom. Now we have another referee, and no, no. Oh my God, not you, him. You're kidding me. Anybody but him, Mr. McMahon. Mr. McMahon, the chairman of Watch WWE. Watch it, Stone Cold in the chair. Oh. Low blow from The Rock at the last minute. This is absolutely chaotic. We got people getting knocked down, referees knocked down. Rock and Austin beating each other up. Oh, look at this now, JR. Vince McMahon putting the boots to Stone Cold. Hey, who's this? Well, hell, it's mankind, Jerry. What the heck? What's he doing oh. here? I know one thing, he just knocked Vince McMahon out of the ring. My God, it's chaotic. Now Rock, Rock reading uh, the right act. Hey, hey, look at this. Austin, the roll up, and Mankind thinks he's the referee. Oh, look at the rattlesnake here, JR. Oh, wait a minute. Austin set too early, and the Rock now scores the clothesline. The great one is back in control of this great rivalry. Rock. Oh no! Austin. <laughs> Rock bottom. Rock bottom. Man, what impact! This could be it, Jr. Rock should cover him right here, but sound like a car crash in there. Oh no! Wait a minute. The Rock is not through yet. I think it's just about time for the most electrifying move in all of sports entertainment. The Rock gets rid of that that elbow pad. This one's for you and you, Stone Cold. The Rock with the momentum. Here he comes. Oh, it's the people's elbow. Oh, no, Rock missed, JR. McMahon can't believe it. Poor McMahon. And look at Rock now. Hey, John Austin's book. Oh, boy, here we go. Rock going for a rock bottom, but Austin will have none of it. Oh! Austin, those elbows back to the temple and scores with a stunner. Both men are down. I'm not so certain. Quick pin. Is this it?
Well, to be honest with you, I don't imagine that this will be business as usual. And the strike lands. He's got him hooked. The Rock, the number one man in this business. And the reason is the championship he owns. And even you got to admit, JR, he's a true champion. He's the epitome of a champion. He's the kind of man that you would want representing your organization. Not some fierce, willing, finger giving idiot like Stone Cold Steve Austin. Just admit it, JR. Well, that's your opinion, King. No doubt The Rock is a gifted athlete. An amazing, amazing specimen. But he might need his match tonight. Well, don't bet your hat on it, JR. The Rock is the people's champion for a reason. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real. Up. That's it. He's out. Somehow, some way, the great one is still standing. But trouble's knocking at his door. Oh, he's in trouble now. No! Oh, my. Steve Austin. The shoulders are down. I'm not so certain that this match will be called right down the middle by our guest here. Remember, our guest here is only here to officiate the match, not get involved. Of course, I'll believe that when I see it. Well, to be honest with you, I don't imagine that this will be business as usual. He's showing no signs of letting up. Rinse and repeat. There it is again. Incredible move by Steve Austin. Uh oh, he's in position, ready to strike. Hey, he's going for it. A oh, perfect stone cold stunner. Here's the cover. The rattlesnake will most and win. The winner of this bout and new WWE Champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin. This is going to go down as the blackest day in the history of World Wrestling Entertainment. You reap what you sow. The Rattlesnake climbed the mountain. The Rattlesnake overcame all the odds. The championship being held high. You got against Shane McMahon. He's, he's his father's son. From Victoria, Texas, weighing 252 pounds, the world wrestling champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Man, these two guys, every time they go, look at Austin. Yeah. A little slot of hand. And it didn't take long. Here we go. The fight is on. The fight is indeed on. It looks like a barroom brawl here. <laughs> Austin and The Rock and Shane McMahon. Be careful, Shane. Being, being assigned by his daddy to be the referee in this matchup. I think Shane will referee this thing right down the middle, but so far that distraction has cost Stone Cold Steve Austin the upper hand in this match. And Rock, 6'5", 270, with dynamic right hands. Whoa, Austin misses the reverse elbow. Lufez press. Oh. Austin with the advantage. Look at those piston-like right hands. All of them finding their mark right to the face of the great one. And the Stone Cold Steve Austin talking smack while he's beating up the rock. Oh, Austin is off to a great start here.
Remember, our guest here is only here to officiate the match, not get involved. Of course, I'll believe that when I see it. Doing a lot of damage to the body. Oh, what a bruising blow with the chair. Oh, lights out. Well, that's it. He's got him. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Man, talk about putting a target on someone's back. He catches him with the axe handle. And Steve Austin is doing an excellent job dominating this match. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. This is nothing more than a Saturday night. Or make it a, a Saturday night fist fight in Muskogee. This may be a normal Saturday night in Victoria, Texas, but we are live in Providence, Rhode Island. And it wouldn't be this way in Miami, the Rock's hometown either, I can assure you of that. Oh yeah, there's no violence in Miami. Oh, listen to you, sarcasm will get you nowhere. Or everywhere. I forget which is it. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Bringing it back between the ropes. Stiff shot with the elbow. How do these guys... Go oh, on, look at this. Stone Cold Steve Austin has got the rock down, JR. Austin trying to stomp that mud hole in the rock. And Shane McMahon, special referee, admonishing Austin. Oh, be careful, Shane. Shane almost taunting the Austin to, to strike the referee, which would end the match. Hello, oh, the rock trying to sneak attack Austin. Austin sidesteps. And now Austin on the apron. Don't do it, Austin. Don't jump. Oh, man. Austin scores for that. Close line from the apron. Rock in big trouble now as uh, Austin. Whoa, looks like the announce table's in big trouble as well. Austin visiting the Spanish announce table. Stay away from ours, please. The Rock now on the, the table of our amigos. Oh, look at Elbow blow. And I bet you Austin's not wearing a cup. Throw ah, rock bottom through the table. A rock bottom through the table. And that may have done it. That may be it for Stone Cold Steve Austin. There's a big smile on the face of Shane McMahon. He loved it. What a regal move by, by, by the rock. Wait a minute. Stone Cold rock bottom through the table. The rock hates you. You are a living, human, breathing piece of trash. And the Rock is having his way with Stone Cold, and Shane loves it. Oh, another hard right hand. The question is, can Austin survive this onslaught? Dropped, and that was a hard, hard shot. Not the most effective striking here. Perfectly executed. It's really hard to imagine what's going through the head of our guest here. They may be having a hard time. Oh my, Steve Austin. Uh-oh, look at this. Incredible move by Steve Austin. Easily avoided. Oh, hard kick to the rim. Oh, what a battle we got here, JR. Look out! Stone Cold head first, right into our announce table. And now, watch out! You hear Austin's skull cracking off our announce table. There's no doubt that Austin is 
in a bad, bad way, obviously. The Rock with that mean streak. And Austin now on our table. Look out, King. I know, and Shane saying, come on, Rock, get it back in the ring. But I don't think he needs it. Hey, come here, give me the camera, give me the camera. Yeah, Rock thinks he's a cameraman. Yeah, this is the Rock's cam. What do you think of that? Stone Cold Steve Austin, the biggest piece of trailer park trash walking. Stone Cold, you go directly to hell. And you take that with your compliments of the Rock. For the millions and millions of the Rock fans. Watch it now. Watch it. Oh, a surprise. Oh, Right on the table, the stunner. Take two. Cut. Oh, my God. Rock grabbing the camera. What else can go on in this match, JR? It's crazy. Oh, the people's champ felt that. And he brings the action back inside the ring. Now back to the ring. Oh, look at this. This battle continues. Uh, Austin imploring the Rock to get to his feet. You know what Austin's looking for here? You damn right, a stunner. Austin looking oh. for a stunner downstairs. Wait a minute. Oh my gosh. Shane McMahon just got wiped out. Oh no, poor Shane. The trust fund baby went oh. down and so did Austin with a rock bottom. The rock bottom. And, oh, look at Shane, helping The Rock, come on! He's as crooked as his daddy. It was almost a three, but somehow Austin kicked out at the last minute. Shane, Shane a little dizzy here. I don't know if he knows what he's doing. Oh, he knows what he's doing. Shane knows what he's doing. Shane McMahon looking for an unfair advantage to help The Rock. There's he's no doubt. He's got that championship. Look out! Oh, no! I cannot believe what we're seeing. What kind of officiating is this? Shane was going after Austin, but he hit the rock instead. What the hell's next? Well, look at this. Austin for the pin, but wait a minute. Shane won't count the three. This officiating is atrocious. Hey, there's Vince. Right over there. There's Daddy. Oh, my God. What? McMahon hit his only begotten son, Shane O'Mac. Shane O'Mac got woodshedded. Oh. And this is this is absolute insanity. And here's the cover. Look at this. The Rock may win this thing. Oh, there is no quit in this man tonight. Austin, no! Incredible move by Steve Austin. Hey, this may very well be it. There's two. Stone Cold. I can't believe it. The winner. Champion Stone Cold Steve Austin. What is Vince thinking here? Vince McMahon presented Austin with a smoking skull belt. He tossed the belt to Austin. Vince McMahon returned Austin's property back. Oh, hell yeah. Stone Cold Steve Austin retains the WWE title. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Yes, indeed. The ownership of the WWE is on the line. Hanging high above the ring is that briefcase with all the goods in it, King, all the paperwork, all that will allow the winner of this ladder match to control World Wrestling Entertainment. And Mr. McMahon said that he's going to fight tonight, JR. He's fighting for his business. He's fighting for his, his life. McMahon has never had a more desperate, a more serious night. Not from the federal government, not from a lawyer, not from anybody more than he has tonight because McMahon's company is on the line here. Feeling it out, perhaps, here. Steve Austin with the offense. I'm not sure I can watch this. the sheer force behind this superstar's punches. Well, we're on the move here. And Steve Austin has all the momentum here. 
And that wild attack won't find a home. Hey, targeting the head. Easily avoided. Great offense by Steve Austin. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. One moment of hesitation, and you could find yourself in a world of hurt. Pulverizing him with the sledgehammer. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. Ah! Oh, my. Steve Austin. Oh, look at this. Mr. McMahon is 53 years old and in football. No shame. Well, maybe right now we'll see how good a shape he's in after this match. Oh, this is a very dangerous situation, JR. Look out! So cool, Steve Austin ladder match against both the McMahons. Vince and Shane, Mr. McMahon oh. and his son, Satan and Satan Jr. This is not right, Jr. Mr. McMahon's an executive. He's not made to be put through this, tor this sort of torture. Oh! He is a, a demonic human being in my estimation, and Austin knows that. Austin knows his back is against the wall. The tables could turn at any time. And so could the ladders. Yeah, where's Home ah. Depot when you need it? Clean up on aisle seven. There's some teeth on the floor, I think. I'm afraid if Mr. McMahon's not careful, there's gonna be a spill. No, this is enough, Stone Cold, oh! Again, it's Shane McMahon being bounced around like a, a rubber ball to anything that's not nailed down. Jerry, you gotta look at the look on Stone Cold's face. I think he's actually enjoying this abuse that he's fishing out to the McMahons. Austin loves a great fight. We know the rivalry between Austin and the McMahon. This is not a fight, it's a total beatdown with weapons, with ladders. This is not fair. Oh my. Future of the WWE is up in the air. Yeah, up in the air, literally. It's in that briefcase hanging way above the ring. Remember, no disqualifications, no pinfalls. It's all about the case. Winner take all. Yeah, and unfortunately, loser take nothing. I think everyone knows how that must feel. So damaging. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Oh, come on. Give me a break. You've been up to Titan Towers the last week with Stone Cold as the CEO. It's horrible. It's like hell with fluorescent lighting. It's not horrible. I kind of like it. A secretary answering the... Austin! No! Incredible move by Steve Austin. Back in the ring again. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Steve Austin. Ladder you 
used as a weapon. Now that was a jaw jack. as a weapon and he brings the action back inside the ring I think he oh, look at this JR Stone Cold up that ladder if he gets there this thing's over if he can reach that briefcase whoa whoa whoa, whoa. Austin trying to retrieve the briefcase put the McMahons out of business as far as Shane and, and Mr. McMahon are concerned, it is a two-on-one handicap match. Anything goes, and look at this. Wait a minute, use the ladder. What's wrong with you guys? Oh, that's not gonna work. That's not exactly uh, astute ingenuity. What's next for these morons? These, these are supposed to be business geniuses. And now look at this. Well, they're in dire straits. They're in an emotional situation. All they need is a couple of pairs of big shoes. They might like two clowns in there. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Austin's up. This is not gonna be good. Somebody's going down. Uh, Somebody's going down. Bam! Oh. Mr. McMahon and his son Shane knocked down Austin with, a, with an opportunity now. Oh, and stunner! Oh, man, the stunner. And then another stunner oh. on Shane O'Mac. Okay. The rattlesnake has a clear path to victory now. Austin sets the ladder. Make sure it's sturdy. All Austin has to do now is get up that ladder. Oh, this is this, JR. Stone Cold is climbing the ladder. Wait a minute. The, the, the briefcase is ascending, as is Austin. Austin's no physical way to reach the briefcase. What's going on here? I have no idea, but that briefcase is going up down like a yo-yo. You gotta be kidding me. There's collusion here. Austin knows something is screwy. I don't think that's the guy in charge of that. We certainly don't have anything to do with it. Vincent Man, Vincent Man going to the top. He's reaching for the briefcase. The briefcase is lowering. Uh-oh, now Stone Cold. Austin up on the, on the ladder, the briefcase is is rising a little bit to get out of oh. Austin's reach. Shane O'Mac kicked back down. Oh, Austin going for it, but now Vince is hammering away at Austin. And look at Shane. Look at Shane. Shane pushing the ladder. Ah! And both his daddy and the rattlesnake go down. Shane McMahon has an opportunity. Can he seize the moment? Can Shane McMahon seize the moment He's for the, the McMahon family? He's got that ladder set up. Shane climbing to the top of the ladder. And look at the briefcase. It's lowering down what into the, his grasp. Where the hell's Houdini? <laughs> David Copperfield. Shane's got it. And the McMahons have retrieved the briefcase. They have won the ladder match. Here are your winners, Shane McMahon and Mr. McMahon. And there's no doubt in my mind that Austin's life will now become even more of a living hell. Austin has been abused by the McMahons these past few months, and he's here to get back what's his. Well, this ain't about Austin, JR. This is about celebrating the fact that order has been restored. Mr. McMahon is back in charge of this company, and this Yahoo is back in his place. A challenger, like he should be. Well, he might not be a challenger for long, King, because here we go. The Undertaker is the most evil, demonic, son of a you-know-what that I've ever seen and been around in my entire life. <laughs> you want to talk about evil? What about a CEO that rewrites his own contract because he knows he's going to lose a big match? Well, I don't call that evil. I call that pretty intelligent. You telling me you wouldn't do it? Not in a million years. Never. Of course, I'm not a dog like Stone Cold Steve Austin. Many athletes can drop the Undertaker like that.
And there's an extremely destructive strike. What in the hell is Austin doing? I thought Austin would want to keep this a... Look out! The dive doing damage there. Opening up a can of whoop ass on The Undertaker. Look out! Austin. Oh! Boy, double clothesline. Stakes couldn't be higher. Austin must win the WWE title, or the McMahons have decreed that Austin will never, ever get another opportunity to compete for that championship Whoa, again. Oh, look at this. The Undertaker rising from the dead. It is a must win situation for Austin. And look at that insidious Paul Bearer on the outside, urging his son, The Undertaker, on here. And Austin's got a win against the most oh. intimidating oh. athlete in the history of WWE. The man that's never lost at WrestleMania, The Undertaker. Undertaker with a reversal. Oh no, Tombstone coming. Look at this, wait a minute, reversal. Austin, Austin counter to Tombstone and hits a stunner on The Undertaker. Austin's got the match won. This is over. Two oh. count. Hey. Hey. Oh, that bulbous Paul Bear. That big rotund evil demon just pull the referee outside. Oh, out. Whoa! There you go, Stone Cold knocking Paul Bear down like a ton of cake. The donuts went flying from Paul Bear's attire. The Undertaker is the most evil, demonic, son of a you-know-what that I've... Oh, my! Steve Austin! Austin! No! That's it! He's out! Hey! He's going for it! Incredible move by Steve Austin! The shoulders are down! One, two! And he kicks out! Oh, there is no quit in this man tonight. He misjudged the range on that one. Just making his presence felt there. Showing no signs of letting up. Oh, this will bring everybody to their feet. Oh, my. Steve Austin. He sees it. Okay, we've seen this incredible move by Steve Austin. The shoulders are down. Two. Three. I'll tell you one thing. The rattlesnake. Oh no, this is the winner and the new WWE champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin. This is a tragedy. It's a travesty. JR, this is just awful. Stone Cold is the WWE Champion. Start your celebrating, folks. This is a night that we're never going to forget, ever. And here we go. The WWE title on the line. And remember, the first man to bleed loses. It will be the end of an era before our very eyes. It will materialize right here tonight at Full Moon. Uh, look at this. The rattlesnake attacking before the bell 
Raven rings. Cheating like always, JR. This match can only be stopped by the Red Cross. First blood rules. Undertaker said it was very, very personal. And indeed it is. It's not all about business for The Undertaker. Or so he said earlier on Raw. You know, I don't really care about The Undertaker's motive, JR. I just want to see him open Austin up so we can all wave adios to the rattlesnake. How many times have you thought we'd seen the last of The Undertaker? How many times has he come back to haunt your dreams? Not to mention the McMahons. Oh, they ain't dreams, JR. They're nightmares. And I want them to end tonight. Getting back into the ring now. Yeah. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause me. Oh, what a battle we have here, JR. Undertaker sent for the red. Whoa! Two of the all time greats. No, and look out. Look out here is right. What the hell is the Undertaker doing? Abusing the official. Whoa, he tripped over the referee. That comes back to haunt the Undertaker. Undertaker tied up to the ropes and now with nowhere to go. Oh boy. He's at Austin's mercy. What's Austin gonna do? That rattlesnake's about to strike. Undertaker's in big wait, wait a minute. He has the Undertaker tied up at his mercy, as you said, but Mr. McMahon doesn't have a very peaceful, easy feeling oh, look on his face, I'll tell you that. Hey, hey, hey! Here comes Shane McMahon! Oh bam! Steel chair to the head, and hey, that hurt Mr. McMahon. That's a four-bagger. The clean the bases at Austin. And now he's kicking Shane McMahon out to Daddy. Wow. Now Stone Cold can turn his attention once again. Back to a helpless undertaker. Whoa, wait a minute. And now Undertaker has the advantage. Undertaker said it was very, very personal. And indeed it is. It's not all about business for The Undertaker. Or so he said earlier on Raw. You know, I don't really care about The Undertaker's motive, JR. I just want to see him open Austin up so we can all wave adios to the rattlesnake. How many times have you thought we'd seen the last of The Undertaker? How many times has he come back to haunt your dreams? Not to mention the McMahons. Oh, they ain't dreams, JR. They're nightmares. And I want them to end tonight. He's too good inside the ring to be on the floor for long. Well, thanks for coming. Oh, that chair has got to hurt. Oh, look at this, JR. It's a stunner on The Undertaker. Oh, man. But remember, it's a first oh. blood match. Look out. Watch it. Mr. McMahon's waving that crutch around. Mr. McMahon, be careful. You're crippled. You think he's really hurt? Oh, don't hit a crippled. Oh, right hand. Well, he's got a handicap stick for his car. Well, he needs all the best parking places. He'll be parked close. And Austin back in the ring with that steel chair. Wait a minute. Oh! Undertaker beating Austin to the punch. Hard shot to the spine. Hit him in the head. Hit him in the head. Uh-oh. Watch it. Undertaker manhandling the referee. Intimidation. Somebody's got to bleed. Somebody's got to bleed here. Whoa. And Austin driving the... Wait a minute. That's... That's X-Pac. X-Pac? What the hell is he doing here? <laughs> X-Pac enters the ring, kicks that chair right out of the hand of the Undertaker. Now look out! Austin, TV camera! Austin, the commandeer's the TV camera, hits the Undertaker right between the eyes. Oh. Undertaker's got to be bleeding, and he is. Look at that! You're right! A crimson mask! The Undertaker bleeding, the clearing is blowing, and Austin hammers away. When the referee sees this, he's going to stop the match, The Undertaker. Watch it! Mr. McMahon trying to come in and get a, a stutter for his trouble. We'll see you later, Mr. Chairman.
Oh, look at this. JR, this is chaotic. I love a Royal Rumble. Man, it's crazy here in New Orleans tonight. Look at the rock go. Man, this one guy spit out his gumbo. Oh, man. The action is fast and furious. And oh, no, here comes Rikishi. How did you get him over the top rope? Those huge Sesame Street buns of his. Now look at Austin hammering away at Rikishi, the man with the biggest buttocks in the business. Austin hitting anything that moves. I don't blame Here in the Royal Rumble. The Billy Gunn that just went down. Austin getting involved in Triple H's oh. title match earlier tonight oh. here in the Crescent City. It's all on the line. The winner of the Royal Rumble goes to WrestleMania to meet the champion. Austin wants it badly. <laughs> He's proven it by hitting anybody and everybody in sight. Look out! There he goes! No friends, oh. only enemies. swinging his way. WrestleMania. Talk about catching a beating. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. Whoa! Whoa! Looks like another check in the wind column. Pushing him into the ropes. move by Steve Austin. Oh, look at this. The rattlesnake with the rock up in the air, but can he get him over that top rope? He's got him. Look out. Oh, wait a minute. The rock with a rake of the eyes of Stone Cold Steve Austin. We are down to nut cut time. The final three here in the Royal Rumble. Woo! Who's going to go to WrestleMania? And now the rock. The rock. Oh, oh, wait a minute. The rock over and out. Kane. Try to push both The Rock and Austin out. Rock's eliminated, Austin is not. We're down to the final two. Kane and the Rattlesnake, and the Rattlesnake really opened it up here on the Big Red Monster. Uh -oh. oh, oh no. Man, it, who's going to WrestleMania? Oh, no, chump slam It looks from like it's going to be Kane going to WrestleMania. Austin just got choke slammed right out of his Texas boots. There's Kane signaling not that the end is near, but that the end is here. Things did not go down the way the game wanted earlier tonight. So he got his revenge against Austin. What has gone down are the Rattlesnake's chances of going to WrestleMania to meet the champion. Yeah, but let's face it, JR, these brothers, Kane and The Undertaker, they're literally just kicking butt in there. But what's gonna happen when, if it just comes down to The Undertaker and Kane? Oh man, well that's where your guess is as good as mine. He's in full on attack mode now. Austin. 
He's looking at it. Rinse and repeat. There. Incredible move by Steve Austin. Oh, that's going to put an end to this one. It's all over but the shouting. Oh, what a bruising blow with the chair. He's showing no signs of letting up. Come on, Rob. Get in there and get that thing away from him. Incredible move by Steve Austin. The toughest son of a gun in the WWE. He's fought his way back after spinal surgery, and he's going to WrestleMania. And we all know the history between these two men and these two families. But all that is behind. And now it's a matter of who can win best of three falls here at No Way Out. Steve Austin can feel the momentum swinging his way. Let's not forget that these stipulations are the stipulations that were chosen. They were picked by the game himself. The game made the rules. This was the game's structure of this match. He got what he wanted. Now maybe he's getting what he deserves. Oh, look at this. What a shot there. Oh, man. Triple H in trouble. Man, how long has it been since we've seen such an intense two out of three fall match? A wrestling match in fall one. A street fight in Whoa. fall two. Oh, a stunner. And if, if, if necessary, a cage in fall three. Austin with a stunner, the cover, and Stone Cold Steve Austin jumps out to the early advantage physically and psychologically. Yeah, that may be a huge spirit breaker for Triple H. Austin reminding at the game that I am the man. I am up one fall to none. Well, look at this. <laughs> Take a little rest out there. Go outside the ring for a little R&R. &R. So the first fall is in the books. The second fall is on the way. And Triple H hits the ground. That one went wide. and bashes him with the chair. And he gets in another shot with that weapon. Let's not forget that these stipulations are the stipulations that were chosen. They were picked by the game himself. The game made the rules. This was the game's structure of this match. He got what he wanted. Now maybe he's getting what he deserves. Austin's in trouble. Cracks him with the chair. He's showing no signs of letting up. That can cut you, break your... Incredible move by Steve Austin. The damage has been done. 
Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. He's got him. And for a move like that, he's going to need a chiropractor in the near future. Pulverizing him with the sledgehammer. Paying attention to the back now. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. Now that will teach him to keep his eyes on his opponent at all times. Ooh, the head just bounced there. Can you imagine what's beating in the heart of Austin now? Knowing that he's in the ring under these circumstances with a man who orchestrated a plot to run Austin down like roadkill. Hart? Did you mention that Stone Cold and Hart in the same sentence? Everybody knows rattlesnakes are heartless, JR. Not this rattlesnake. This rattlesnake might have the biggest heart in the WWE. Ask all the superstars that he's left in his wake of destruction. Well, I know one thing. Triple H don't give a rat behind about any wake of destruction. He's here to get revenge for himself and for his lovely bride. The game looks to be in a bit of trouble here. End of story. This one's over. Oh, that chair has got to hurt. He's in full-on attack mode now. Executed perfectly. And check out the look of satisfaction in those eyes. And bashes him with the chair. Back into the ring now. Making his statement as we speak. Well, we're on the move here. Back between the ropes. Oh, what a bruising blow with the chair. Oh, that chair has got to hurt. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. Incredible move by Steve Austin. There's clearly something about his face that he doesn't like. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Oh, out of nowhere! He lands the strike with great accuracy. Oh, look at this. Don't hold Steve Austin stomping at the very heart of Triple H. Austin up one fall to nine in this two out of three fall match. Austin wins this fall. It is all over. But Triple H is going to have something to say about that. The oh, sledgehammer. No. Legal. Sledgehammer. Oh. Man, Austin saved himself there. 
That sledgehammer is a lethal weapon, no doubt about it, from the cerebral assassin. Austin, look at her stunner. No. Oh, no. Joe, gosh almighty. Good Lord. A slobber knocker of a shot between the eyes of the rattlesnake. Austin is addled. I'm not sure Austin even knows where he is. I don't know how Austin is even able to move when he was going after that chair, but oh, no. This should do it. The opportunistic Triple H. Oh, the pedigree driving Austin's face, his head into the canvas after the sledgehammer shot. That's it, that's it, there's the three count. The leg is hooked, the three count goes down. We are even at one fall the apiece. of the second fall, evening this match at one fall apiece, Triple H. Oh my God. The cage coming down to surround the ring. The cage is what will be the playground for the third and deciding fall. And Triple H hits the ground. It's safe to say the entire WWE locker room has just been put on notice. No, Triple H still dazed. The third and deciding fall in a steel cage match. And this may do a pedigree, but no, look at Stone Cold Steve Austin reversing it. No, sending Triple H's face first into the steel. Whoever wins this fall wins the match. It has been a such an evenly fought oh. match. Austin with a stunner. Austin with a stunner. Both men, the fatigue setting in. Their bodies have been ravaged in this three fall match. Here's the cover. The far leg hooks in a near fall somehow, some way. The game willed his way out of that pinning predicament. Boy, you're right, JR. This match has been grueling. It has been brutal. Uh oh, oh the, the sledgehammer. Sledgehammer legal. And oh, no. For the second time in this match, the sledgehammer finds its way home to Austin's face. Is it? Yes, it's over. Here is your winner, Triple H. And as the great Lance Russell would say, I don't know that these two men will ever be the same again. All right, Triple H not even able to get to his feet to enjoy this victory. These men are spent. There's no celebrating in game town after this ordeal. The sledgehammer did the trick. Thus far in the career of these two celebrated athletes, incredible move by Steve Austin. And obviously, the challenger Stone Cold Steve Austin with the advantage in a no disqualification match. How could the WWE put The Rock in such a disadvantageous situation? Is that how you say it, JR? No, it's disadvantageous, you idiot. I don't know who made the decision. Maybe it was the commissioner, William Regal. First we heard of it was during the introductions before the match. Well, I cannot believe that this is a no disqualification match. Whoever's responsible, it hurts The Rock because if it was a disqualification match, The Rock could get DQ'd and still retain his title. Well, King, whoever made the decision doesn't matter now. It is what it is, and The Rock's gonna have to live with it. Incredible counter. Oh, the reversal by The Rock. Well, here's The Rock in control. What's he got in mind for Stone Cold now, JR? It won't be good, whatever it is, and to step in, Wait could a be minute. a sharpshooter. What? The Rock with a little insult to injury, but now look at Stone Cold, JR. A rattlesnake counter, a rake of the eyes. 
<laughs> and it works every time. Has, can Austin get back in it? Oh, take down. And now Austin sets in. Austin with a sharpshooter. This bud's for you, Rock. This is a painful submission hold and used to great effect here. What a combination. You just don't know what's coming next. Challenger Stone Cold Steve Austin with the advantage. Looking to put him to sleep. You don't want to get caught out. Oh, look at this, JR. The Rock. Oh, The Rock with a stunner. I can't Stone believe it. On Stone Cold Steve Austin. I can't believe it. Rock's going to beat Austin with a stunner. He's, oh, no, he's not. No, he is not. Been, oh, my God. Look, <laughs> look who's coming to ringside. Vince McMahon. He may be here to save the day, JR. Why do you not like Vince McMahon? Mr. McMahon. Well, there's a million reasons. We don't have time to get into them now. We're here in Houston. Austin down hard. And the rock. The spine buster. The spine on the pine. Uh oh, wait a minute, JR. By the great one, and guess what? We are about to see the most electrifying move in all of sports entertainment by The Rock. Are you ready for a little bit of the people's elbow? Here it is. Yes. The Rock with the elbow in the sternum. Austin, like a piece of steak laying in wait the ring. What the heck is? What the heck's going on? Rock had this thing won. Mr. McMahon, what's, what's McMahon doing? I don't get this at all. And The Rock chasing McMahon. I, I'm confused. Wait a minute, look out. The Rock caught by Stone Cold Steve Austin with the rock bottom. Rock bottom, rock bottom. And a near, oh my God, a near fall. How close was that? The hand was coming down for the three count. Both men are down. What the hell's next? Hey, targeting the head. He's showing no signs of letting up. Oh, what a slam. What impact. The people's champ felt that. Nails his face. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. in the morning. The shoulders are down. Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. And this is where Austin is the most dangerous when his back is up against the wall. Oh, this may very well end it. Oh, what a match this is, JR. Look out, Stunner. No! The referee, wrong place, wrong time. Austin and Rock got to still settle this thing, but there's no ref. Rock gets up first. Oh, look at this now, JR. The Rock. Uh oh, low blow. 
Off to the low blow, a blatant low blow. Good thing the ref wasn't in there. McMahon looking on. The Rock in trouble. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What is this? Austin communicating with McMahon. What the hell's going on here? Are you kidding me? This can't be. For God's sakes, this can't be. Stone Cold Steve Austin in collusion with Vince McMahon? Austin in collusion with Satan himself. Oh, look at this, Jerry. Oh, McMahon blessed The Rock with that steel chair. Mr. McMahon is a vile human being. Or is he even a human being? I think he's Satan. Oh, now, look at this. Hey, McMahon. Satan. Hey, Satan. Get the referee. Yeah, that's what you got to do. Get the, get the referee, Satan. Here's the count. One. Rock is beat. Two. It's over. And it's over. You're right. Oh, oh, oh my God. The Rock's got his right shoulder up. Oh, my gosh. Austin cannot believe this development. This match is going to continue. Stone Cold Steve Austin can't believe that the best laid plans of mice and men all been going astray. Gee, he really has his favorite moves tonight, doesn't he? Looks like he's trying for a pin here. Somehow, some way, he kicks out. Just when you thought it was over. Wow. He's too good in what a debilitating smash with that chair. Oh, that chair has got to hurt. And he hits him with an impressive combination of kicks. Oh, what a bruising blow with the chair. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. surprise was that oh gosh hey what do you want for your last meal Austin spots the opening oh, not your garden variety impact on that one He's taking his opponent to school here, adding insult to potential injury here. Great counter. He almost got the shaft, and then bam, what a reversal. What a debilitating smash with that chair. Oh, what a bruising blow with the chair. He's showing no signs of letting up. Steve Austin making his statement as we speak. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. Oh, that chair has got to hurt. Looks like another check in the win column. Cracks him with the chair. Done. I'm not sure I can watch this. And he brings the action back inside the ring. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. Turns it around on him, and what a move. He's got his shoulders. Planted to the man. What the hell is this? Kane and The Undertaker to take on Austin and Triple H. So much on the line here uh, in the Rosemont Horizon. Yeah, well, it looks like Austin and Triple H were not too anxious to take on the Brothers of Destruction. Well, the WWE title, the Intercontinental title, and the tag titles are all up for grabs for the winner in this matchup. 
And here comes Triple H. And nope, nope, nope. Triple H thought better of that. I never thought I'd see the day, quite frankly, that the game and Austin would be tag team partners. The Brothers of Destruction, different ball game. And that may give Kane and The Undertaker a decided advantage in this tag team match. Oh, I think you're exactly right there, JR. There's a shot on the far side of the ring. I don't know if I don't know if uh, Triple H and Stone Cold Steve Austin can coexist in this type match. I think they may be saying, hey, we've had enough. Austin just said, let's get out of here, Triple H. I, I can't believe Austin again turned their back on these, oh, look at this. these two monsters. The Undertaker and Kane. Yeah, the Brothers of Destruction are not going to let Triple H and Austin escape. They're going to get this thing started oh. one way or the other. Oh, we're going to see a fight, all right. We're going to see one hell of a fight. The American fans and the fans of Chicago on their feet. This will be a slobber knocker main event, folks. Not for the weak at heart. All the major titles in the WWE are on the line tonight. Who is the most dominant team in WWE? Will it be the Brothers of Destruction, the tag team champions, or will it be the Violent Redneck and the game? Oh, man. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? It's all up for grabs now. Austin, Triple H, Undertaker, and Kane. And Austin and Triple H got to be in a hurry. You got to believe that Austin and Triple H don't want to go face to face on a level playing field with these two seven foot, 300 plus pound monsters. And his attack misses. Ah, and the disturbing spinning neck breaker. Oh, look at this, JR. Stone Cold has Kane in big trouble. I think business is about to pick up, King. <laughs> to say the least. It's chaotic here. All these titles on the line, all this money at stake. WWE title, Intercontinental title. And there's a tag on Triple H. Tag team titles, oh. for God's sakes. Stephanie McMahon on the outside, looking a little concerned right now. Things are not going her way. I knew you'd notice her quickly. Well, now Kane out onto the floor. Kane's in big trouble. This has been a bowling shoe ugly match. Man, I'm telling you, I don't know if I'd taunt the Undertaker. Wait a minute. Oh, my goodness gracious. Steel chair right across the arm of the big red machine. He'll want to return through his hell fire oh, watch and it. brimstone. Watch it, Undertaker with the chair now. Oh, thank goodness. Referee got that chair away from the Undertaker. Referee asserting his authority here. It's a smart thing to try to keep some order as Austin is oh. strategizing. Kane in a bad way brings a tear to a glass eye. And now Stone Cold Steve Austin looks like he wants some more. the tag clearly on a mission here he misjudged the range on that one the cerebral assassin is an honor student of this business no doubt about that a complete student of the game you know he's coming to this one with a well thought out strategy that we may see manifested sooner rather than later And the ref starts the count. Folks, we don't know how bad Kane's elbow was hurt. We've heard all sorts of rumors. We've heard torn ligaments. We've heard bone chips, the bursa sac. We've heard damage has been done significantly. Oh, the dreaded bursa sac. But here's the point, JR. We've always said that Kane is invincible, indomitable, impervious to pain. But Austin and Triple H know better. They know that Kane is vulnerable. They know that left arm is damaged. And if they can exploit that damage, we'll have a new WWE Tag Team Champions tonight. All because of a cowardly chair attack by Austin and Triple H a few weeks back. It's a damn shame that it's come to this. Well, those are the breaks in the WWE.
Can't cry over it. Can't moan about it. You just got to deal with it, JR. That's what The Undertaker and Kane are going to do. Not the most effective striking here. He's in big trouble. Kane is not someone to sleep on. Just toying with the competition a little. Triple H is tagged in. Oh, that'll send you directly to the chiropractor. in jeopardy now, do you? I guess not. That backstabbing rattlesnake will do anything to remain WWE Champion. He almost got the shaft, and then bam! What a reversal! Bam! And he's toast! Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. There may be no fighting out there. That's it. That's got to be it. Triple H. Now that's a finishing move, folks. Uh-oh. Triple H has him. His partner's hurt. Looking for a roll. And he breaks up the pinfall. Steve Austin making his statement as we speak. And. Oh my gosh, JR, there's the tag. In comes Triple H. Kane's in big trouble now. Uh oh. Okay, he is a gurry. Takes out the referee and goes, and down goes Triple H as well. The tag to The Undertaker. The Undertaker is on fire. Oh my God. Big thunderous right hand. The dead man doing some damage now. Undertaker dominating oh. both Austin and Triple H. The two man power trip are losing their power. The oh Undertaker my God. dominating. Look at this, JR. Undertaker, oh. up. everything is working for The Undertaker. Over the top rope, out onto the floor, goes Austin, and now the game's going for the ride. Oh! The Undertaker's last ride, it may be over here, the referee. Wait a minute, the referee didn't see the tag. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? The referee did not see the tag, can you believe that, ladies and gentlemen? Oh! And now Austin from behind. Stunner! Stunner on Kane! Undertaker did, did see the dust. Stephanie handing Triple H the championship. Oh no. What's the game gonna do with that? The a leap of weapon. Yep. Oh! And Triple H ate it. Uh oh. Choke slam. Oh, no. oh, oh my no. God. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. Not Stephanie. This can't happen. Hey, wait, there's Daddy. Mr. McMahon in the ring. Now the game with that hammer. The sledgehammer. They are, this is broken. Come oh. on now, Kane. Kane's in big trouble now. The sledgehammer shot. Mr. McMahon helping the ref back in the ring. At least to make a three count. Can he get three? There's two. And three. The winners of this bout as two world tag team champions, Triple H and Stone Cold Steve Austin. And look at the gold. 
in the following contest, it is set for one fall. Introducing first, being led to the ring by Colonel Rob Parker from Hollywood, California. Weighing 253 pounds, the name Here they go, Austin and Pillman, one on one. Their relationship has imploded. Pillman, a volatile, competitive athlete. And I look at Colonel Parker, Tony Pillman. And wait, uh oh, look out, look oh, out, look out, look out, look out. Oh my God. Parker led Pillman right into the trap. Pretty smart move by stunning Steve Austin. Here comes Steve Austin. Two. Back where Three. it belongs, inside the ring. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. Now momentum is in the corner of Steve Austin. In his statement as we speak. The Blondes. We thought we'd never see it, folks. The former World Tag Team Champions, I might add. Former dominant Tag Team Champions. Going at it here in a grudge match at the Clash of the Champions. Well, some old animosities working themselves out here for sure, JR. Steve Austin and Brian Pillman, collectively known as the Hollywood Blondes. A great tag team at one time, but squaring off against each other here. One thing for certain, they each know the other's strengths and weaknesses. And they will exploit those weaknesses as much as they can. Hey, they're both big boys, and that's what the WWE Look at this. Man, what a rivalry. Oh. And oh, Brian Bryan, nice counter. Nice counter there. Well, look out, JR, incoming. Oh, come on. Colonel Parker shoving Pillman off the top rope, and Austin wins by unscrupulous manner. Yeah, you got to give a big assist. Oh, no. oh Pillman. To, yeah, look out. Pillman taking Austin down, and now he's going after Colonel Parker. And Parker running like a scalded dog, hooking up with Austin, getting the hell out of here. You ought to run. And here we go, folks. Immediately now is the undisputed championship match. Come on, Jericho just beat The Rock. Can he get a little rest? Well, King, that's the luck of the draw. And Austin still limping from his war with Finn. Can he end the kick out? And this is where Austin is the most dangerous when his back is up against the wall. A spectacular counter by Steve Austin. Oh, mama! A textbook maneuver there. Wait, is he still conscious? Man, that looked bad. What a beast Steve Austin has been so far in this match. And his attack 
misses. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. Oh my, Steve Austin. Oh, looking to put an end to this incredible move by Steve Austin. That was a ton of velocity. He's got to be history. Is he still even conscious? Oh, man. Oh, here we go, JR. Austin and Jericho, one on one. Stakes are high. No doubt oh. about it. Oh, Jericho. Head bouncing off the steel ring post. Oh, no. Look at Steve Austin. He's exposing that concrete floor. Oh, this is going to be bad. Referee trying to reason with Austin. Good luck with that. Austin oh. now. And Jericho fighting oh. back. And Jericho, the right hand, takes down the rattlesnake. Yeah, the rattlesnake landing on the concrete. Hard. Oh no, watch out. Now the announce table. Jericho knows desperate times call for desperate oh. measures. And Jericho placing Austin on the announce table. Well, JR, look out. This is going to be real bad. This is no man's land. Oh, Jericho about to suplex Stone Cold, but wait. Austin hard shots to the ribs, countering Jericho. Austin with a hard right hand. There's a boot, but he's caught. Counter. Jericho. Walls of Jericho. Uh, oh, look at this. Jericho going for the walls of Jericho, but Austin's got... Oh, look at this, JR. Austin's leg strength, and he counters. Jericho hits a concrete floor. Austin now back. May have the advantage. Does have the advantage. But he's got to get him back in the ring. Austin, think of suplex. Oh, look at the rattlesnake. Oh. It's flat. That's what I heard. Body against concrete equals splat. Austin with the advantage. I'd say that's more embarrassing than anything else. Well, we're on the move here. Twice says nice. Well, oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you could find yourself in a world of hurt. Executed perfectly. Steve Austin making his statement as we speak. Now, it's nearly impossible to deal with this type of power. Oh, look at this. Austin sending Jericho in the ropes. Whoa! Austin ducks and Jericho head first into the referee. Referee is wiped out here at Vengeance. The crowd here in San Diego absolutely going livid. Austin knocks down Jericho. Good place for Jericho in this, in this matchup. Uh -oh. On a low blow. Yeah, but there's no referee to see it. What is that, JR? Oh, it's a half-ass stunner by, by Jericho. Jericho at least take, took Austin down there. Uh -oh. Mr. McMahon calling in another referee. The first referee is down, and he wants somebody in there to count Austin's shoulders out. Oh, my gosh. No, that's not Ric Flair. What is Flair doing here? Flair's not got any, any business here. And now Vince sending Flair into the ring post. Oh, man, JR, this is really broken down. That steel ring post, very unforgiving. Oh! And now Austin returns the favor with a low blow on Jericho. Oh, don't ever mess with a rattlesnake. Mr. McMahon in harm's way, and Austin is stomping a mud hole in the chairman and walking it dry. JR, this action is fast and furious. Lay out. Well, King is for the undisputed title. Steve Austin, Stone Cold, 
Chris Jericho looking for a drop kick, and now Austin reverses into his oh, version he's got him. of the walls of Jericho, a modified Boston Crab applied by Austin. I think Jericho's gonna have to tap Jer out. Jericho just tapped. He's tapping like a drunk man. Where's the referee? No, no referee. Wait a minute. Booker T. Booker T. What the oh. hell? Oh my God. Booker T. With a drive-by, using the championship as a weapon, nailing Austin in the back of the head. Booker T. Doesn't even work here. What's he doing here? Look at this. Booker T. Should be arrested. Now Vince McMahon hobbling around over there, surveying the situation. He's going to get the referee back in the ring. Austin looks to be unconscious. Is Jericho going to win the undisputed title this way? Are you kidding me? There's a two. This cannot happen. This cannot happen. And no, no. Three. For God's sakes. I cannot believe this travesty. The winner of this match and undisputed Chris Jericho. Look at McMahon. He's loving this. Oh, he's laughing like a pet coon. He's pet to goofiest McMahon. He's, he's so happy. He's so happy Austin got screwed because Austin had this match won. Yeah, but JR, you gotta know this Booker T showing up out of nowhere. That had to be a master plan of that man, Vince McMahon. It's all worked to perfection for him. Collusion, I say, collusion. Jericho now a real made man. The first ever undisputed champion. A classic matchup. These two superstars know each other extremely well. It could come down to whoever makes the first mistake. The one thing about this is that The Rock knows coming in, he's 0-2 against Austin in WrestleMania main event. No other athletes in WWE history have ever headlined against each other three WrestleMania main events. Well, we're about to witness it right now. This is gonna be classic. The Great One and the Rattlesnake. Once again, making history, this time in Seattle, Washington. A lot of speculation regarding uh, the health of Stone Cold Steve Austin. A lot hey, of- Hey, wait a minute. Oh, they're gonna, they're kicking it off. <laughs> they're gonna fight. Look like Rock went for a cheap shot, and now Stone Cold Steve Austin opening it up that proverbial can of whoop ass. This match starting oh. out fast and furious as Austin uh, gives the referee a little sign language. And Austin, Whoa. I'll go for the stunner. Austin <laughs> quickly going for the stunner, and The Rock having to scoot outside and regroup. It got a little hot in the kitchen. Hey, wait a minute. Great we, we smell what Austin was cooking early. And he's gonna come and do a little more second helping here. What a clothesline on the outside. And it looks like Stone Cold Steve Austin has the early advantage. Whoa. Oh man, that neck's gotta be hurt after that. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. But can he keep it up? Can he keep up this performance? That's some cruel and unusual damage being perpetrated. He's in big trouble. Might be trying to take that leg out here. Don't cold, sending Rock into the ropes. Uh oh, telegraph that move. And downstairs, right to that patella. Austin's had a history of bad uh, knee issues, troubles, surgeries with his knee, and the, and the Rock got that patella, better known as a kneecap. Oh, no, oh! And again, focusing on the knee is the Rock. Very strategic. He knows exactly, very precise 
and what he's doing. And now look at... Oh, boy. Oh, man. This could do it for Stone Cold. Shades of WrestleMania 13, the sharpshooter that Bret the Hitman Hart used on Stone Cold as Austin was bleeding profusely, finally passing out. Austin, luckily, gets to the bottom rope, but I, King, I think the damage has been done here. Oh, uh, without a doubt, and I think The Rock realizes it as well. He's like a shark smelling blood in the water. Oh, he's gonna take his time and just torture Stone Cold now. Oh, not that leg, not that knee in the post! Oh! And all oh, The Rock threatening the official, but the damage, the story here is the ring post. Oh, no, oh, the knee! Again, The Rock trying to exploit the injured knee of Austin. There much uh, a speculation before the match started, and now The Rock is wearing Austin's vest, that smoking skull vest. That's just taunting. The Rock trying to electrify this huge crowd here. Whoa, wait a minute! Here I, comes the rattlesnake! I think instead of electrifying, that The Rock has just pissed off Austin. Ah. And Stone Cold. Whoa, both men thinking alike. This could turn real ugly, real fast. Look at him just pick his opponent up like a rag doll. He is just getting busted up. The Rock seems helpless. guy's a competitor. He's not going down yet. You know, it's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in his tank. Oh, look at this. Austin Cindy Rock into the ropes, and Austin ducked. You can feel the intensity starting to mount here at WrestleMania 19. Oh, the great athletic nip up by The Rock. 6'5", 270. But guess what? The Austin is up! Oh my gosh! Rock bottom by the rattlesnake! A rock bottom by Stone Cold Steve Austin! How embarrassing would this be for The Rock to get beat with his own hole? The cover of the hook of the leg! Oh run. man, Rock barely able to kick out just before the three count from a rattle bottom. Ra <laughs> rattlesnake rock bottom. That rattlesnake move, it just electrified this huge crowd here at WrestleMania. And Austin imploring The Rock to get up and fight. Let's finish this here and now. Austin wanted to go 3-0 at WrestleMania against the great one. Stunner time. Oh, no. Rock catches Rock with a stunner. And my God, Rock with a stunner on Austin. First the Rock bottom by Austin, and now the stunner by the Rock. What a matchup. to come back from this. The shoulders are down. Two. No, not finished yet. Oh, there is no quit in this man tonight. Just making his presence felt. Oh, look at this. Austin. Oh, Austin shoving the referee out of the way. Oh, my gosh, JR, did you see that? Not a good move by Austin. First, he could have gotten disqualified. Then he left himself wide open for that low blow. And The Rock has gained a decided advantage. Yeah, and he knows it. Look at The Rock, so proud of himself. The most electrifying man in sports entertainment. Still wearing that vest. Will he ever take that off, JR? All right, this is arguably the greatest rivalry ever in WWE. The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. It can't get bigger. It can't get more intense. 
They know each other so well. Oh, wait a minute. It looks like Rock is ready to electrify this huge crowd at WrestleMania. The most electrifying move in all of sports entertainment. It is The Rock with the people's elbow. Here it comes. Ah! And Austin had it scouted very well. A little bit too much training. Stunner, stunner. Nope. Oh, my gosh, the spine must be there. The spine on the pine. All of the great Arn Anderson and The Rock now. Not going to waste any time looking for the people's elbow. This time The Rock hits it. Right going to be it. Hey, the shoulders are down. And the shoulders up in time. Wow, what a display of heart and determination. Oh, and folks, it don't get more painful than that. Here's, looks like this may be it. No, somehow. I don't Stone believe it. I, I don't believe it, King. I don't Some, believe it. Somehow Stone Cold survives. Austin able to kick out the rock saying, what the hell do I have to do to beat this Texas rattlesnake finally in a WrestleMania main event? The rock poises uh -oh. for another O. Oh, yeah. We've seen this. He's setting up for another rock bottom. Here it comes. Oh, my God. A thunderous rock bottom. The float over. Oh, look at this. Somehow Stone Cold Steve Austin kicks out. The Rock continues to put the pressure on Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, but look at the look at the look on the Rock's face. He's a little bit confused here. He's got to be thinking, how on earth did the rattlesnake escape that? Not many men kick out of the Rock bottom. Uh oh, JR, look at this. Do you think the Rock is thinking about another Rock bottom? This main event at WrestleMania 19 may end momentarily. Austin staggers up, trying to fight out of this predicament with hard elbows. The point of the elbow to the oh, no! A rock bottom, rock bottom, a rock bottom and a hook of the bar. Oh, this has got to be it for Austin. Wait a minute, JR, somehow Austin kicked out. I cannot believe Austin able to kick out and neither can The Rock by the looks of his face. The Rock is in shock right now. And so are these fans. As we said, over 54,000 fans here on a beautiful day in Seattle, Washington. And The Rock hits Stone Cold Steve Austin with a perfect rock bottom, and, well, the rattlesnake kicked out. No, wait a minute, JR, does it look like, do you think The Rock may be setting Austin up for another rock bottom? I think The Rock is obsessed. He's gotta hit the rock bottom. He's gotta win this match by using the rock bottom Come hell or high water. Look out, Steve. Here it goes again. And now, another rock bottom? Nobody can survive this. The rock. Ah, look at the elevation. Feel the impact. The float over. Can Austin kick out? 